Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era. This week's tournament is going to be known as the Dynamo Tournament. And the reason we're going to call it the Dynamo Tournament is because we have a dynamic cast of characters coming into play. There is a reason they're all coming to today's tournament, is this is a tournament held by Industrial Illusions. And the winner of today's tournament will get their hands on a very new pack. And this new pack is going to have the first set of the new summoning style in Duel Monsters. That's right everybody, Earth is about to get access to Synchro Summons. Now, they're not officially released yet, but whoever wins this tournament will be able to open the pack and will be able to get access to the new summoning style. There have been cards released already, like Tuner Monsters, to already get set up for this new summoning style, so some characters are known to have these Tuner Monsters. Now, we have Synchro Monsters coming out. This is a really good and big event, but Industrial Illusions doesn't exactly want to give away the cards for free because just having a new summoning style is going to make these uh, packs sell like gangbusters. In other words, Industrial Illusions is about to double its profits. Yep, they're going to be super rich. But today's tournament is about the characters trying to get that new pack, so why don't we delve on in? Here is our Yu Gi Oh! Master Era Dynamo Turnamo. Uh, Turnamo. <laughs> Dynamo Turdy Character Roundup. The first character we're going to be talking about in the Dynamo Tourney is Ribbon! Ribbon has been working diligently at the library. She teaches kids to read their cards and has gained a new passion for dueling. This Dynamo Tournament is her chance to get a look at brand new cards. Yes, everybody, she is one of the only Duel Monsters characters that actually reads her cards, and she's starting to teach kids to read theirs. Whichever kids are being taught this might become the king of games simply because they'll have a huge advantage over every other duelist, especially 90% of you that are watching this video. And the 10% of you that read the cards are nerds. So, <laughs> Ribbon is going to be doing a great job. She works at the local library in Domino, and she heard about the new cards coming out. She wants to get her hands on them, and she wants to learn the, all the new summoning style and so she could teach it to the kids. We'll see how she does in today's tournament. She hasn't dueled in a long time, not since the minor league tournament. But, you know, she's got a fun magician deck, a fun book deck, a fun library deck. It's going to be it's gonna be pretty interesting to see her duel again. So, good luck to you, Ribbon, and we'll see if you can earn those new cards so you can teach all these kids a whole new summoning style. The next character we're going to be talking about is Grandpa! Grandpa is excited to get these new cards into his shop. He recently got his hands on something real nice, but it kind of stumped him. He was actually not supposed to mess with it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's an old man for you. you. You give him anything and he'll just mess with it and break it, probably. It doesn't really matter, though. Uh, whatever that item was, he gave it away, so Grandpa now is going to be focused on his card shop. He is going to be one of the card shops that gets early access to the cards so he could sell them on opening day when it's time for the new cards to come out. But if he can win today's pack, he'll get an early, uh, you know, couple cards and he could sell them for an insane amount of money. Still, we'll see how Grandpa does. I know his shop's a lot of fun and I know he takes good care of it. The next character we're going to be talking about is Bones! Bones wants to get this his hands on a new type of card. He saw some of these cards played in the Youth Cup and thinks his deck would benefit greatly from the new summoning style. That's right everybody, most of the people on Earth already know about the new summoning style thanks to people in the Underground, people in the Pro League, and of course people during the Youth Cup. Bones got to see it firsthand during the Youth Cup and now he wants to get some of his own. If Bones manages to get some Synchro Monsters, who knows, maybe he could really buff it up his deck. Still, it's going to be hard for this little zombie kid to do it. I wish him luck and uh, we'll see how he does. Arcana, the Rare Hunter. Arcana was happy to be sent on a simple assignment today. If he manages to bring back the new style of cards, his master will be satisfied. 
His magician should give him a good edge in today's tournament. Yes, everybody, Arcana is going to be using his Dark Magician deck. I wish Red Dark Magician existed in the game, but we're just going to have to live with the fact that he has a regular Dark Magician card. Either way, it's going to be real fun watching Arcana duel as his Magician cards do have some nice special summons, destruction, and whatnot. And today's tournament is going to be lower power level as it's more of a four fun tournament with a really fun prize at the end. So, we'll see if Arcana does well. Crump of Kaiba Corp! Crump was sent to win this new type of card. A new summoning style easily implemented into Kaiba Corp decks could give them the edge they need. He was not sent here by Mokuba Kaiba though. Yes, Crump is a member of Kaiba Corp and he is known as one of the big five, you know, one of the big five people in charge of all the important stuff. I forgot what he was in charge of, I mentioned it in his first Master Era tournament appearance. Either way, Crump's Penguin deck is pretty effective, it's super annoying to watch but could be kind of funny. Um, and apparently he is here on orders, but they are not the orders of Mokuba Kaiba, who is currently in control of Kaiba Corp, while, you know, Seto Kaiba is away. So that's a little strange, but we'll see how Crump does today. Titan, the Shadow Rider! Titan's boss officially surfaced in the underground. There they announced the power of the Shadow Riders, a group with the power to rival gods, a group to take over every dueling league. Yes, everybody, the Shadow Riders are born. Apparently, after they were able to take the underground, the boss decided it was time to, you know, mention who they are. So Titan is here today to you know, get their hands on some uh, brand no new synchro summoning to make sure they don't fall behind. Apparently, their boss says they have the power to rival the gods, but maybe they'll have to prove that in a pro tournament later on. I know Camula couldn't do it, but uh, their boss sure as well have to. Still, Titan's a very good character. He's got his Archfiend cards. He's gone as far as, I believe, top eight. He's done really well in tournaments, but we'll see how he does today. Is, 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 is has felt a disturbance in the cards. Her magic is able to make cards do real damage, but the cards have been whispering fearful words. A new level of spiritual energy is releasing, like the GX War. Yes, everybody, when Iz Iz was released in the GX War, a ginormous amount of spiritual energy was released. And yet, the cards are whispering that they might be released again. There is some sort of spiritual disturbance going on in the world right now. Something that could rival the GX War, or at least is similar to the GX War, in terms of energy. We'll see if that ever comes to pass, or if that will ever play a role. Right now, Iz Iz is just focused on getting her hands on some new cards. She's still learning all the new cards as she is from the past, but her witch powers or spellcaster powers have been pretty effective in our tournaments. Her chaos deck has gone her super far, and we're going to see if she can win it all today. Yang! Yang forgot there was a tournament today, but managed to wander into the tournament site on accident. Since she is already here, she decided she would join in on the fun and win some fun cards. Yep, everybody, Yang is just walking around like, oh my god, wasn't I supposed to be doing something today? And luckily, she walked right into the place she was supposed to go. Isn't that nice when you're a forgetful person and you end up walking to the right place? Kind of like when you go to the bathroom and then you're like, oh man, I better go get some water. And then you walk into the kitchen and you're like, wait, why am I here? Oh, I wanted to get some water, thank god. And you didn't just walk back to your room? Yeah. Well, Yang did that with a tournament, and now she's going to be participating. We'll see if she does any good. Her deck has received some buffs to help out because Dark Lucius um, isn't very good. The boss monster is good. I, I will admit that card is pretty effective, but the rest of the cards could use some work. Alda V Stormer! Alda wants to stream herself winning the brand new type of card. Her biggest sponsor also funded her trip to the tournament location and wants her to win those very same cards. That's right, everyone. Alda V Stormer is here, our favorite streamer, unless you like Lily Dunanana. Um, she is going to be doing her absolute best to get these new cards on stream, and we're going to see if she can pull it off. I know she has the potential to go as far as top four, though she's only gone top eight in multiple tournaments. She just barely misses top four. We'll see if she can do it today, though. Maybe today's the day she gets her hands on some new cards and increases her popularity on Soul Seekers. Mr. Clown? Mr. Clown has lost a lot lately. His businesses failed not long after the Champions Carnival. 
Now he just wants to get his hands on some rare cards to attract new clientele. He hates Grandpa. Yeah, Champions Carnival didn't go so well for Mr. Clown and his son Duke Devlin. After that, he kind of just had to leave the public's view as, you know, he was seen as kind of a weirdo. And because he wasn't very popular and his shop was, you know, kind of scummy, he ended up losing a lot of money. But if he's able to get the, his hands on the new cards today, maybe he can come back to the light, come back to the story of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era, or he will fall back into obscurity if he loses today. Tia Mook, or Tia Mook, the card professor. Tia and some of her fellow card professors were sent today by Industrial Illusions themselves. See, uh, seems like the first series of Synchro Monsters are not meant to go to the public for free. That's right, this one pack of cards is so valuable that they don't even want to give it away to the freaking, you know, to the freaking kids and all the people showing up today. So, Industrial Illusions, or more importantly, Yami Pegasus, has decided to send in some card professors to make sure that the cards are not won by anybody else. They're not technically doing anything too nefarious, they're just like, nah, sorry kid. It's like, it's kind of like the Weeble at the Youth Cup, where they're just like, nah, sorry, I'm just gonna take this from you. So if they lose, it'll be hilarious, just like Weeble at the Youth Cup. So, good luck to you, Tia Mook. You used to be a really high-ranking underground duelist, but now, you're just kind of strange. Macy Hops, everybody! Macy loves seeing her son duel in the Youth Cup against some of the best duelists in the world. Now, she wants to reward her son by gifting him a whole new card type. We'll see if Mama Hops can win. Yeah, we haven't seen Macy Hops duel in a long time. We did get to see her son Mickey Hops duel recently. But uh, we're hoping to see if Mom still's got it because she went as far as top four in the minor league. Now this tournament is kind of like the minor league as there's not too many heavy hitters showing up today, but we'll see if she can go all the way. Good luck to you, Macy Hops. Call me of American Academy. American Academy has been temporarily closed. Kami is using this free time to improve her dueling deck and really wants to win herself a brand new Synchro Monster. Yes, American Academy is closed. Only temporarily, apparently, as there is a lot of legal battles going on right now. But apparently it is closed and Kami has some free time. So, while she's still here in Japan, she's going to be doing the Dynamo Tourney. And we're going to see how she performs with her planetary boss and her powerful water deck. Christine! Christine has never had fun dueling her fellow students at Domino High. Her buddy Ricky is the only one she enjoys dueling. When she graduates, she wants to enter the dueling league. Yes, Christine, the leader of the student council, whoever the head of the student council, is not too fond of dueling other people at Domino High. They're not very good duelists. Her herself, she's pretty good. Christine is at least average. Nothing wrong with her. So she wants to duel, uh, join the dueling league, whether it's the pro league, the minor league, the, the underground league. I don't know what she's going to do. All that matters is that she does well today. She gets her hands on some synchro monsters and she buffs up her deck. Good luck to you, Christine, the number one uh, student at Domino. Sunny Snips! Sunny decided to ditch school today. She really wanted to see if any of those new cards were tiger based so she could improve her deck. We'll see if her tigers can give her a look at the new ones. Yep, everybody, Sunny Snips wants to check out these new synchro monsters. She wants to find a tiger based synchro monster since her whole deck is based off tigers and, you know, lions and stuff. We'll see how she does today. Her tiger deck did amazing during the Youth Cup. She was a menace. And she decided to ditch her school of Heartland Middle School. And we're going to see if she can go all the way. Good luck to you, Sonny. I know you can do it. Cyrus Truesdale! Cyrus has been staying with his brother while Duel Academy is temporarily closed. He entered the Dynamo Tournament to try and win some new cards. Cards to buff his deck, hopefully. Yeah, Cyrus doesn't really have a place to go, so he had to go live with his brother. Luckily, his brother has been in better spirits ever since uh, Zane drew, uh, joined the Pro League. And, you know, he makes that pro money, so he could afford to, you know, take on his brother. Be like, Cyrus, come on, you can live with me. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. And, uh, yeah. So, while Duel Academy is temporarily closed during the legal battles, Cyrus is going to be dueling here, and he's going to try and get some Synchro Monsters to buff up his deck. Good luck, our little Roid guy. 
Cherry of American Academy. Cherry is loving the free time she has while school is closed. She hasn't been told when she can go back to the campus, but has decided to fly over with her friend to challenge this tourney. Yeah, she's going to be here with her buddy Kami, and she is going to be the fire deck of the American Academy. We're going to see how her burn deck does today. She had a really tough time in the American Academy tournament. Uh, uh, Kami did too, but Kami at least showed off. So maybe Cherry will be able to show off more today with her Blazing Mars boss monster. Good luck to you, girls. We'll see how you do. Deshuets Lu! I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Deshuets Lu, card professor. A brand new card professor is here today. Mr. Lu is the weakest member of the card professors. His title and spot in the organization is constantly at risk, but not a single person has taken his rank. His focus is on defense and burn. Yes, everybody, there are other card professor uh, applicants out there, people that want to try and take their spots and be part of this mercenary group. Sadly, they are failing because Mr. Lou here has been stopping them. His deck does focus on defense and burn, and we all know how that usually goes when it comes to the AI. They aren't typically good with defense cards, but... You know, maybe he'll show off today, maybe he'll prove us all wrong, maybe he'll prove the AI wrong. And if he doesn't, he's already considered the weakest of the card professors, so... Wah wah. Yami Kuroda of OCG Elementary. Yami Kuroda is beyond excited to give himself a new form of power. He knows that if he can get his hands on these new cards, he will become the top duelist at his school. After his last tournament performance, he dropped to the third strongest duelist at OCG Academy. He's still one of the four kings, but he does need to work really hard to get that number one spot. We'll see how he does today, and we'll see if he gains any access to Synchro Monsters. Good luck to you, Yami. We uh, are hoping for the best. A lot of people seem to like your Caius monster, so keep it up. Clemeth Osler, Card Professor. I'm going to get a lot of these names wrong. Osler is good buddies with Kirk Dixon, a fellow card professor. For those of you that might have missed it, Kirk, D Kirk Dixon was the Machina deck user we saw in the pro level tournament. A man that could have gone far with his Machina Fortress and Machina support cards, his dark Machina support cards, but was stopped by Bandy Keith. Osler's rank as a professor is one lower than Kirk, but his insect deck has bugged many of the high level card professors. Osler is an interesting duelist in the fact that his boss monster is not very strong, but with his stealing strategy, he is good at using his opponent's cards to make his boss monster even stronger. We're going to see how Osler does today, and we're going to see if he can win it all for Industrial Illusions. Yummy Jesse, one of the duel goals. Jesse Anderson was tasked to scope out today's tournament. With Duel Academy currently closed, the leftover goals are searching any dueling events that Jaden might show up at. Yes, there are still dueling goals. Those dueling goals are those that uh, Ubel was able to keep control over. She wasn't able to keep control over many, or dueling goals that she never possessed in the first place, but simply were like, hey, I'm going to help you out. So the goals are still around, and Yami Jesse is helping on their search for Jaden Yuki. Good luck. And hopefully you find that kid. Odeon Ishtar. Odeon was asked to take the prize cards today. His brother Merrick is planning on making a move on the underground. New powerful cards could really help his brother out. Yes, Odeon Ishtar still helps out his brother Merrick and of course uh, Ishizu. Those two are on, on, you know, all about trying to fix the underground league. The Underground League hasn't been nearly as bad as it was before when Yami Merrick was in charge, but it's still not safe in the hands of the new leader. So, Odeon was sent here today just to get some cards to help out his bro. If he fails, it's not a big deal, we're all in a very nice timeline. All he has to do is just work on his deck and his brother has to work on his deck to take over that Underground League. But, if they get these Synchro Support cards, I guarantee you it'll be 10 times easier. Roxy, we're doing a bit... You know what? If she's part of the recording, she's part of the recording. My cat can do whatever they want. So, everybody, let's continue. Sadie of the Dynamo Tourney. 
Sadie has been enjoying her paid time off from Duel Academy. She has watched all of her favorite shows twice over and needs to go outside. <laughs> this tournament is a great excuse for her. Yes, yeah, Sadie has not been laid off as nobody's getting laid off or kicked out of Duel Academy just yet. All that she has to do is enjoy this paid time off as Yami Pegasus apparently is not the worst person to work for when it comes to money. He's a rich, rich man, and he doesn't mind sharing the wealth around. So, Sadie's like, whatever, I'm just going to stay home, watch my shows, watch them twice over. Oh god, what am I doing with my life? I need to go outside. And now she's outside, like, eh, hey, maybe I can get my hands on these new cards. We'll see if she does it. She's a fun duelist, and uh, her deck is something that you might recognize uh, another character using in other video games. Pete Coppermine! Yeah, the card professor! Pete Coppermine, everybody, is one of the more interesting card professors. Pete is a mid-level card professor. His official rank is about 9 when it comes to the 13 card professors, making him just about the middle, the edge of the middle, but the middle. Yes, he was hired today to ensure no cards were won. The hype around Synchro cards is enough to double Industrial Illusion's profit. Yeah, he gets paid well. All the card professors get paid well, no matter how poorly they perform and no matter how badly they fail. Pete is probably the hi is the highest ranking card professor we've seen to date. And we're going to see how is... Uh, it's a weird deck. It's a deck... I'm just going to go through it. It's a deck where he steals opponent's monsters in order to destroy opponent's monsters. But it's also a deck about, like, gene splicing and stuff. So he has a ritual monster like Lycanthorpe. Like, this is the guy who used Lycanthorpe, apparently. That surprised the hell out of me. I didn't know about that. I learned a new thing today. So, yeah, Pete Coppermine, everybody, is going to be doing his best in today's tournament. The next character we're going to be talking about is the last character that's going to be in today's tournament. This character has been waiting a long time to show up in our Master Era series. There was a chance that they were never gonna show up at all, but thanks to a loving brother, she is here today. Everybody say hello to Serenity Wheeler. Serenity has healed up well after her surgery. Whenever Joey visited her, he would always talk about dual monsters. Now she wants to see just how fun dual monsters can be. And just to give you all the best reaction and best hope and best loving feeling in the world, Serenity Wheeler found an exact card type that she is fond of. And not only did she find that, but she found cards that resembled her brother's cards that he uses in his active deck. So everyone, get ready for Serenity Wheeler's Red Eyes Black Dragon deck. Yeah! Serenity Wheeler is going to be joining our Master Era series. She is going to be the final person to appear in today's Dynamo Tournament. This Dynamo Tournament is technically just for fun. The only thing you get for winning is access to brand new Synchro Monsters. And I'm sure every single person in today's tournament would love to get access to it. Not very high-ranking people knew about the Dynamo Tournament today because it was kind of a one-off thing. Nobody was told about it ahead of time because they didn't want high-level people to show up. Industrial Illusions just wanted people in town to know about it. Like, hey, come on, have some fun. Let's let the citizens play and then we'll let the freaking card professors beat them up. But yes... That is all the characters we have today. Today's tournament are, is going to be for the Synchro Pack. And then, not long after today's tournament, I would say maybe a month, they're going to be releasing the actual Synchro set of cards. We'll see how it goes. We'll see who wins today's tournament. Everyone start picking your favorites, and I will be live with you very soon. I'm probably still finishing eating, but I'll be live with you very soon. Let's do the Dynamo Tournament.
Hello, hello everybody and welcome to today's Dynamo Tournament. And yeah, we're going to be having a lot of fun. Sorry, I was finishing up a few things I needed to get ready. Um, if I need to, I will turn up the sound, but I just wanted to say hi to everybody. I wanted everybody to get really excited. I am super excited that we're going to have so many characters today. Lots of new ones, actually. I threw in like three or four new ones and I'm just, I'm just hyped. And I know... That ending might have been a little weird for some of you. I know it's like, what the hell? Why did she get them? It's because it's fun. She gets red eyes. <laughs> it's going to be great. So let's go ahead. Let me uh, let me set up the first duel. The first duel of the day will be Cyrus Truesdale versus Ribbon. Two characters that I don't believe ever had to fight each other before. Though they were in one tournament together way back when. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. It's not goal, it's ghoul. Yeah, I can say goal. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where are Cyrus and this gal? Ribbon. I have not seen Ribbon in a long time. I, I need to find her. She's She's been buried in here for quite a while. Oh, there she is. Yep, she's been buried in here for quite a while. Why is Lou Pickles here? Because I thought it'd be funny. Now I just decided to bring out a lot more card professors, everybody. A lot more of the card professors are coming out. They all work for Industrial Illusions after all, and that's just super fun. We're going to see which of them is going to be the hardest one to deal with. So far, they've been pretty easy to deal with, so I feel like it's not that bad. I think Kirk Dixon is one of the scariest ones. He just got a bad matchup in his last tournament, so yeah. We'll see how they do today. Yeah, I did here. I'm very sad about uh, Kira Toriyama. Rest in peace. But... Today's tournament, what we are going to be focusing on is which of these characters is going to get early access to the new summoning style. Which of these characters is going to get Synchro Monsters? I know a few characters already do have Synchro Monsters, but all of them are from the moon. So this will be the first time anyone on Earth gets that chance. And I'm hoping that they actually get to use... Because uh, I, I made sure to pick some characters that already had the ability to get Synchro Monsters. Like it works with their decks. So we're going to hope for the best, and we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see if any of these characters can do it. Let's take a little look at the bracket since we have extra time today. So we have Cyrus Ribbon. This is a card professor, I believe. Mr. Clown, I brought him back from the dead. Have fun being here, Mr. Clown. Uh, Serenity Wheeler, yeah. Titan, Sadie, yeah. Kami, Kami's a big hitter, I think. I'd say Kami's on the list of big hitters. Osler, yeah, card professor. Arcana, I don't know. Macy Hops, you know what? She got top four, big hitter. Yami Jesse, I don't think so. Dishuitz Lou, probably the weakest of card professors. Sunny Snips, surprisingly, don't sleep on her. She's pretty good. Crump, I don't know. Alda V Stormer, do not sleep on Alda V Stormer. She's pretty good. Uh, Odeon Ishtar, I never liked it. Uh, the way his deck works. The AI doesn't want to use his new support either. Uh, Cherry, I don't know. She hasn't really got to show off. Iz Iz was really good in the last underground tournament, so yeah. She's good. Christine, eh, she's not bad. Yami Kuroda, he's pretty good. Tillamook, eh, we'll see. Bones, no. Yang, no. Grandpa, I can't disrespect Grandpa. <laughs> I can't disrespect Grandpa. He's too fun to watch. I mean, I love Bones, but he just hasn't done it yet. So yeah, today's first fight, for those of you that are curious, will be Cyrus versus Ribbon. And these two characters will be on your screen very soon. So let's go ahead, Jason, if you are here, let's get those predictions going. I want I want people to start out. Oh, thank you. You're fast as hell. Good job. Uh, let's get those predictions going and let's see uh, which person gets more votes. So I'm going to set up their faces and then the second we hit 12 o'clock, I'll officially start the tournament because that's how I typically like to do it. I like to be uh, punctual and then I always mess up the time somehow. But yeah, I like to be punctual. Grandpa does always have a chance. He's a character with a deck that always has a chance, which is really fun. And yes, he did almost beat Yami Merrick. But Yami Merrick is more of a slow burn deck, so he's he wasn't well built to fight Grandpa. Yami Merrick counters like more aggressive decks. But uh, a slower deck like Grandpa's, I mean, it, it's just not his style. Are you ready for daylight savings tomorrow? I don't know. I, I I don't I don't go to school anymore, so it's not been a and I my job is work. I just when I wake up I work, so it's never been an issue. Let's go ahead and let's get it started. Here comes Cyrus. Here comes Ribbon. Two characters we haven't seen in quite a well. We saw Cyrus pretty recently. We haven't seen Ribbon in quite a while, and we're gonna see who is the strongest between these two. To start the duel, we got Double Mystic Tomato. We got a Royal Magical Library because she loves libraries, and uh, she actually works at one. For those of you that have forgotten. 
And uh, yeah, her goal in life right now is just to teach kids to read their cards. All right, we're going to go ahead and have a card drawn. Card drawn is good. And we got some back row cards. Next thing, we got uh, Terraforming. Okay, Cyrus, what are you getting? He got Megaroid City. Yep, he's used that quite a few times. Megaroid City has been really good. And Truckroid's going in, and Truckroid is going to devour the Mystic Tomato. But Mystic Tomato should still get its effect off. It will devour it, don't get me wrong. But Mystic Tomato will chain its way into getting its effect off, which is really nice. All right, so Mystic Tomato gets the last Mystic Tomato, and Truckroid is now one of the best beaters in the game. It's as strong as a Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Alprantis Magician's pretty good too, but the two Mystic Tomatoes are just going to stay right there, which is honestly okay. I don't think there's anything to worry about there. And we got Drill Roy. Oh, we had Drill Roy. That's not going to work. And looking at that, we got another Truckroid, which is fun. And Mystic Tomato is going to be devoured yet again. She's in a lot of trouble. He has a huge power advantage against her. I don't know why he has a normal summon or set a new monster as he does not want to just have one. 3800 attack is freaking scary. I don't think I've seen Cyrus have a truck ride this strong in a long time. And most of these cards are not going to make a difference unless she gets one of her destruction cards, which she does run. Uh, she's going to get run over by this truck. Ah, crap, Joe Roy. Joe Roy's always a problem, which same thing. It's going to get its effect off before it gets eaten. I've never seen a truck eat. You know, I haven't seen a truck eat this much since Kirby became a truck. So hopefully she finds a way to stop Truckroid. Uh, Drillroid just stops Apprentice Magician's effect. So that is a huge, huge problem for her. The truck keeps devouring. It keeps getting stronger. All right, Monster Reborn comes through. It better be a good Monster Reborn. I didn't see what the monster was. Steamroid's all right. You can get rid of Drillroid, which is a problem. So I agree with this play. Yeah, you need to get rid of that. And then we also need you to set. Good job. All right. All right. She's trying her best, even though this truck is about to become unstoppable. Cyrus is going... Oh, no. Not two. His mom can't let him have two trucks. Oh, wait. But if they, he has two trucks, he can't use spells and traps soon. Oh, what was that? I didn't know Megaroid said he did that. I'm learning new things today. That's a really interesting play. All right. Well, Truckroid is about to devour... Another Steamroid. Oh, it's... Yeah, it, I was going to say, does it work on its own grave? It works on its own grave. And finally, Apprentice Magician is gone. So... It looks like we're done here. <laughs> it looks like um, you are no longer allowed to use your Spell and Trap card zone. But you have two unstoppable trucks. This is super funny. This is the God Truck. Yeah, that truck is stronger than a freaking, what's a 5k beater monster? A 5 god dragon. It's stronger than a 5 god dragon. All right, Steamroid, all of these roids do not matter. She has not found a spell card that can deal with this. Holy crap. He can't eat. He, the trucks are full. He can't eat anymore. He's full. All right, Steamroid runs in. Mystic Tomato is your last monster. Oh, do you even have any dark monsters left after all this? You have one, Witch of the Black Forest. All right, Heart of the Cards, get you something good. Pot of Greed, that's pretty good. Pot of Greed's really, really good. Let's see what else you can get. What? Oh, come on! She needs, like, spells and traps, and you gave her two of the same exact monster back-to-back? -back? I mean, come on, game. They were gonna be back-to-back -back no matter what. That's upsetting. That's really upsetting. All right, Witch of the Black Forest, we're just gonna set you. We're gonna set one of the three monsters you got stuck with. Uh, I don't blame her. I, I, the library would be nice after you destroy the trucks. Once you destroy the trucks, then you can trust the life. Never mind, Drillroid's here. Shies it. Drillroid is a very nice card. But he, even if he had fusion cards right now, he couldn't use them. He legit could not use them. He, she did, he just did 5,000 damage. Holy crap. The god trucks are so strong. <laughs> All right, she's thinned out her deck quite a bit at this point. She's done so much floating and so much searching. That can't even help. It's sad, but that can't even help. You need to destroy a lot of monsters. You need harpies. You need harpies or uh, dark horse. or something. I don't even know what that is, but you need something. Call the haunted means you lose the duel. She gave up. It's over. All right. Wait, what's that do? Yeah, let's let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. I just saw that. 
5,300 from the truck. Wait, no, let's make it 63. 6,300 from the truck roid. And Cyrus Truesdale runs over Ribbon in game number one. Don't forget, guys, he went to the illustrious Duel Academy. They taught him how to duel there. I swear, they actually teach their kids and that we need to reopen Duel Academy. Vote yes on Save Duel Academy. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, no, that is a storyline, by the way. You guys, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> Let Dole Academy burn. <laughs> Sorry, I was paid by, I was paid to say this. I don't have a... I don't really have a choice. All right, Mystic Tomato comes through. Mystic Tomato gets out Witch, which is nice, too. Nothing wrong with a Witch. All right, there's no Truckroid this time, and there's no Megaroid City. You have a pretty good opening to go in with Breaker. You could even just use his popping effect for safety reasons. Uh, you didn't use any safety. See what happens when you don't... I mean, he, would, shoot, he probably could have chained that anyway, but still. And we got ourselves a Fisher. That's not how politics work, Bernog. You either save it or you don't. They don't you, you can't fix it. There is no fixing politics. <laughs> you either change it or you don't. Welcome to the real world. And yes, this is the real world. Yu-Gi-Oh! is the real world. <laughs> Dual monsters. Alright, let's see what we get now. Oh, there's a card that could have saved her last duel, remember? Her whole deck's about books and she couldn't draw one at all to save her life. One Book of Moon and she could have got rid of all those equips. Instead, we live in a world where she couldn't get it. Where's his trucker hat? Uh, he should get one after today. If he wins today's tournament, he gets a trucker hat. All right, car trooper's back, which is really good. It can beat Breaker or Maiko, either one. Megaroid City! All right, Express Roid! Express Roid is real good with Megaroid City. And he can recover some of those cards he lost, so that's really good. All right, heart of the cards. Let's see, Express Roid uses its effect with the Megaroid City. It has 1,600 attack. And now with 1900, sorry, I have to wait until the effect goes off. And now with 1900 attack, he gets flipped face down and Maiko's in a very nice position. But finally, Cyrus draws a trap card. All right, let's see what we get. Royal Magical Library is unnecessary. Mr. Tomato is necessary. Let's get in there. Megaroid City uses its effect, but at the same time, you still lose. Breaker can eat, or Mystic can definitely beat Car Trooper in defense mode. And now we just attack this guy directly. Poor Cyrus, he's on his last leg. You know what would be real nice, Cyrus? If you played a fusion card. I know last duel you couldn't and you didn't need it, but this duel, maybe. That was the worst attack target out of everything on the field. That was the worst, I mean, that wasn't a very good, oh, you know what, that was fine. Uh, that was the worst attack target I've ever seen, Cy. Did you learn nothing from Duel Academy? Hashtag burn Duel Academy to the ground. All right, Steam uh, Steamroid's gone. And game-winning attack is good. And that is it, everybody. Ribbon, a person working at a library, has defeated a Duel Academy student. Now we're going to move into game number three and decide who's going to win this duel once and for all. All right, if you'd like my uh, recommendation, I would say between the two of them, Cyrus has a better chance. I'd say still go for Cyrus. That seemed unlucky. I think he just got unlucky. Oh, that is adorable. You guys want to see something adorable? Raise, uh, give me, give me something, give me a little heads up if you guys want to see something adorable. I just saw the cutest thing ever. Yes, maybe. Sakuretsu armor. I mean, we'll, we'll get back to the duel in a second, but look, look at this. All the cats are sleeping on the couch together. That's the mom cat with the baby cat, and then that's my Roxy cat, and they're all just sleeping on the couch together. That's, that's just, it's just so adorable. I didn't even notice they were all there. They, they probably snuck in during the stream stuff when I was eating. Oh, man, that's so cute. I gotta love my cats. All right, well, looks like, uh, yeah, Ribbon's doing good today. Oh, Steamroy can beat it. Yeah, Steamroy can beat it. That's a shame. Still, you were doing pretty good. Yeah, you need traps. It is a little cold lately, so I guess it makes sense that they'd sleep all in the same area where it's warm. And Mystic Tomato goes there, and Mystic Tomato does its job. Lots of damage, lots of fun. Nothing to worry about there. Maiko's going to do good damage, and Cyrus is at the edge of his rope. It doesn't look like... Megaroid! City! Truckroid! No, somewhere... Actually, yes! 
Yeah, Submarine Road's fine. That's an 18 beater thanks to Megaroid City. And an 18 defender. It doesn't matter. Both are good. Unless she gets her tribute monster, which we have not seen today, which is crazy. Oh, for that. Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say, I'm surprised she has not got her boss monster yet. Like, in either or all three of these duels. Still, Roy does not quite like Megaroid City. So they probably will not use it for Megaroid City's effect. That is just a fact. Mystic Tomato, you do not want... I'm just going to say it. You do not want to choose Apprentice. Okay, good. That looks pretty good. And Book of Moon. All right, well... Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. It was worth using just because Stealth Roy has to pop a thing. So you did that to stop the Megaroid City. It was good. It was good. Getting rid of the Book of Moon was actually valuable. Weird use of it, but fun. No! You know what? She gets two beater monsters off of it. She wins the duel. Maiko doesn't exactly work. Okay, we'll go with Maiko. Maiko does 17. Okay, she gets one beater. It doesn't matter. One beater's good enough. Uh, Maiko does 17. We'll see if that's enough to end this duel. Let's see if he can beat it. He can't. Is that a gyroid to try and hold on for life? It is a gyroid. I called it. Hey, gyroid holds on for dear life. And now, if this idiot puts it in attack mode, he loses. Please, AI, don't do it. No entry. Okay, well, now you could. Actually, fine. Truckroid's gonna eat! Truckroid is hungry! <laughs> Truckroid devout. Wait, Gyroid, don't do it! Don't do it! You have 200 life points! Cyrus is about to get knocked out of the tournament! Cyrus, if she draws anything, you lose! Oh, oh. She didn't draw what she needed, but at the same time, she drew what she needed. So, this game is over. Stealth Roid's too, it doesn't, its effect is too late. It's at the end. Yeah. And Ribbon takes down Cyrus. I mean, who would vote for Cyrus? That guy went to Duel Academy. Anybody that votes for Cyrus is just crazy. All right. Good job, Ribbon. Very proud of you. Let's go ahead and get into game, uh, duel number, sorry. Yeah, match number two. Let's go see who's up next. All right. Who is up next in our tournament? In today's bracket, we have Mr. Clown, and Mr. Clown is going to be going up against the mighty Serenity Wheeler. I can't even say mighty. She's just a brand new, brand new duelist, everybody on the scene. Has never dueled before, but might be fun to watch duel today. No, he's not getting a trucker hat. I told you he had to, he had to win the tournament. He failed us all. He failed us all. All right, Mr. Clown. Now, I understand Mr. Clown's character is a dick. And has no fans. But I personally like him because he uses my deck. So the fact that he can use my deck, I, I like him. And it's not hard to use now because he definitely got lots of buffs for today's tournament. He is not a weak clown anymore. So Serenity might be in danger. So don't just vote for Serenity thinking that she's going to win. She is probably in danger. And some of Serenity's cards are meant to mimic her brother's older cards and some of the ones he still uses. Speaking of which, oh, don't get to see it yet, but she, he'll, you will see it. All right, let's see Serenity. Sorry, Serenity's new, so I haven't used her face before. There we go. And there's my trap card. No, that was an amazing opening. It just kept getting better as she drew more cards. Red Eyes Black Dragon is already on the field, and she's got a Red Eyes Baby Dragon, and she's going to use it effectively. So she copied her brother's Baby Dragon and got Red Eyes Baby Dragon, and now she has the double Red Eyes dra Black Dragon and Zero Gravity. Welcome to the clowns. You can have the strongest cards in the game. They don't work against clowns. Future Fusion doesn't work either. They don't work. Mr. Clown, show her how it's done. Summon the Dream Clown in attack mode. Just as good. We're going to do that. All right. Monster born one of her red eyes. See? Exactly. This is exactly what I would do. And Red Eyes Black Dragon is on the other side of the field. Remember, that was right about Dream Clown. This is her first tournament. Take it easy on her. She's still learning. Don't be rude. All right, Dream Clown sadly does not have a target, but it does not matter. Future Fusion can now turn into something amazing. Oh, well, the second Future Fusion won't work because she already had too many Red Eyes, but there we go. And now we can use Dragon's Mirror, and Dragon's Mirror has high value. By getting rid of Meteor Dragon and Red Eyes Black Dragon, she is going to summon the all-powerful Meteor Black Dragon. But if she doesn't go for Dream Clown, I knew it! The AI doesn't know! 
The AI doesn't know the clown deck is unstoppable. She doesn't know Yu-Gi-Oh. It's new to her. She's excited to duel. Her brother got her some nice cards, but it doesn't matter. Dream Clown! There we go! Will Mr. Clown do it? Of course he will. All of us clown duelists know how to do it. Even the Tac Force AI knows how dangerous clowns are. Yeah, it would have also gotten her. You're right. It's a lose-lose situation. But guess what? Even this next Meteor Black Dragon can't stand up to the power of the clowns. Hey, Ace of Hearts, thanks for subbing. And thank you to everybody that subbed ahead of time. I wish I could say it during, but it's pre-stream. And I'm usually in the bathroom, eating, or driving around. Like, sometimes I get late. I, I get here late. Yeah, like I'm still coming back from food. Oh, Brewery Kitchen Clown! What, what? It doesn't matter. That That's fine. Oh, yeah. Anybody that voted for Serenity, your hearts are about to break. All of them. Now, you need to hit that Dream Clown. If I'm you, Serenity, I'm trying to teach you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! here. You need to hit that Dream Clown. That Dream Clown is going to suck. Trust me. Zero Gravity, Curse of Anubis, same thing. Can't hit that Dream... Oh, he's not an effect monster! Oh, crap! Meteor Black Dragon is not an effect monster! It has no effect! He was able to stop the clown. That's cheating! That's impossible! <laughs> the clown was stopped? I don't I don't agree with that. Oh, one of her other cards that uh, is like her brother's card. Alright. Yay! Oh, Mystic Tomato. See, this is how we do it. We go Mystic Tomato into Mystic Tomato into Crass Clown. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Granted, Crest Clown can't do much. It can only stop Meteor Black Dragon, but get wrecked. Uh, you didn't put it in defense, but that didn't... Okay. You only helped her. That didn't work. Mister. Oh, it's okay. He has a trap. It's because he has a trap, everybody. What are you talking about? It's fine. Everything's fine. Monster Born. She's getting really good top decks. I don't like how her top decks are going. It's not fair. It's all right. Zero Gravity's on the way. Where's the zero grab? What? What's the trap? It's called the haunted. Oh, Rui Kishin, the freaking the meteor black. Yeah, yeah, clown powers. We could survive one more turn because of that. You dark hold on the first turn. So what else could you possibly do? Okay, here's the strategy. There's a button. Uh, there's not a button. There, put your hand on top of your deck and you say the words "I surrender," because you ain't my clown guy. You ain't good enough. If you can't even beat a basic Red Eyes deck, you ain't good enough. And Serenity still won that duel. God damn it. <laughs> Mr. Clown did pretty good, but he just he just couldn't clutch it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into game number two. Serenity's going to have to keep that up. She's doing uh, pretty good so compared to what I thought she'd do. Uh, but we'll see. Future Fusion, Pot of Greed, Harpies, Red Eyes, Black Chick. So if they draw a Red Eyes, Black Dragon, that's not bad. Draw Summon Skull. Ooh, Summon Skull might be a bad top deck in a way. All right, double Future Fusion, which does work as there's no Red Eyes around. So Mass Dragon is here. Let's see if he can get some good stuff out. Giant, yes, yes, the rat. Any good clown user would run the rat. At least a warrior lady, depends on which one you're feeling for. I'd, I'd still go rat. All right, another Mass Dragon, another Rat. Exactly. We're going to see the Battle of the Rats versus the Mass Dragons. Only one of these characters can continue. Mass Dragon again. Giant Rat gets Giant Rat. Okay, nobody had anything in their hand. That means he did not have a second Rat. We're going to see everyone go to their ultimate cards. What is their ultimate cards? Mass Dragon's ultimate choice is Red Eye's uh, Baby Dragon. And your ultimate choice is Dream Clown. So with Dream Clown, very good ending. You can just pop that freaking baby dragon. Problem. They're about to future fusion twice. A Meteor Black Dragon and a Meteor Black Dragon. You're in danger. Obviously, a Harpies would help you. Up, oh, Curse of Anubis is worth just because you might as well hit something before you die. All right. Yep. Good job, Dream Clown. You lost TT! Crap! TT had so much value! Oh, crap. No! Dream Clown! <laughs> you lost your defense to Curse of Anubis! That's not fair! Come on, Serenity. You just got out of the hospital. Why don't you take it easy? 
Mystic Tomato comes through. Mystic Tomato will kill the Red Eyes. All right. At least the baby dr uh, Black Chick is gone. Red Eyes Black Chick. Red Eyes Black Chick again, and here they come. And the TT. Right now, that TT would feel so good to hit both Meteor Black Dragons. It would feel so good. But she had to start the duel with Harpies. Reaper, thank you so much. Aloha, and thank you for summoning. Oh, and wait, Aloha. we're not done yet. Red-Eyes Black Dragon wants to have fun, too. Luckily, that's a Mystic Tomato. We can stall until Crass Clown. Nah, it's not game. Stall until Crass Clown. Mr. Clown's fine. Don't worry. He's fine. Yeah, that's right. See, look at that. Unstoppable. Still in the duel. Now, the how do we win with Crass Clown? Let me think. You play Dark Hole. Crass Clown can't help you. There's three powerful monsters on the field. You know what? No, I, I see. Harpies. Draw your Harpies and you win. If you don't draw Harpies, you die. You die. Okay, death. Death is all you seek, I see. Peden! Yeah! There are always a clown. There's always a clown to get you out of any situation. Magic Cylinder. Take a huge hit. It's not over yet. The PDs are here. All right, PD. We're not done yet. All right, draw. What are we going to get? Dark Hole now? No. You bought all of those turns and you still couldn't get what you needed. No. And here comes Summon Skull, of course. Isn't that fun? Rui Kishin doesn't matter. None of this matters. Uh, all right. All right. He tried. He tried. I'm going to just say he got unlucky. One Harpies. Like, if she, if he started Harpies instead, she'd lose everything and he'd have full advantage. But no. It was the other way around. So let's go ahead and let's move Serenity Wheeler forward. For her first tournament, she's already got a win. Which, Joey, I don't even think he got a, a match win in his first tournament. All right, so granted, his deck was way worse back then. I mean, come on. So the next duel is Titan of the Shadow Riders versus Sadie of the people who like to stay in and just watch uh, shows over and over again. How many people in the chat has rewatched a show all the way through once again? Me, I do it every single day of my life. How do you think I get through editing videos? I have the shows in the background. It's the only way I can do it. Yeah, exactly. Every single one of us. It's the only way to survive. I would go insane if I just edited videos with nothing to block my mind. Alright. So, it looks like we're ready to go. It's Sadie versus Titan. I'm very excited for that. And, uh... Yeah, we haven't seen Sadie in a while. Funny enough, Sadie uses a deck that people expect Serenity Wheeler to have. So, I thought it'd be fun to bring her today. Um... Or YouTube videos. Same thing, same thing. Maybe a let's maybe you rewatched a let's play. That that could do it. Since those are basically like little shows. No, I haven't used Serenity in it. Not Serenity. I haven't used Sadie in a long time either, so I need a little time to find her. Titan, I remember using an underground, so he's right there. Alright, Sacred Crane is good. She could fuse at any time. She actually has a really good start. Actually, that's a mm, that's a pretty good start too. That is a pretty good start as well. But her start is technically better. All right, she drew all three. Is that three sacred cranes? That that do we count that? We have to count that. That was naturally drawn. She naturally draw drew three sacred cranes just like that. It's only turn freaking three. She's only drawn twice in this duel. No, she's drawn once in this duel. Because you start with five cards, right? All right, well, that's wild. And we got ourselves a set. Next card we're going to get, I don't think you need Mary. You already have St. Joan. You have double Sacred Crane. You destroyed Terror King Archfiend. And your opponent is... Wow, Sadie's winning? Sadie's actually just winning. Okay. And Terror... Oh, no! Wait, that costs a lot. Rush recklessly! You're crazy! The Archfiend doesn't exist anymore! You lost it! You're losing to Rush recklessly! She doesn't even play mon Duel Monsters. She works at Duel Academy to sell cards and make sandwiches. And you're losing. And you're losing! 
Titan loses. Granted, she started extremely early with that fusion. She got super lucky to get her 28 beater, but still. All right, let's go into game number two. That was embarrassing. Titan, I, 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 if your employer saw that, you luck, luckily today is more of a chill tournament, but if his employer saw that, my God. And like I said, this is Sadie's deck is based off of what Serenity's deck was in Nightmare Trobador. So this is kind of crazy. Fusion Sage, she does not have the fusion materials, but she does Fusion Sage. Yeah, she sold me my sandwiches. I mean, today. You might have even watched me play the game today. I literally was playing Tag Force today. Saturday. All right. Fusion Sage first, then Pot of Greed. Yes, good AI. Good. We're learning here. All right. Do you get your fusion? No. Okay. So this is more what I expected. Hysteric Fair is pretty good, though. Just an 18 beater. Terror King can't handle it. Both of these characters got their uh, their monsters, but the problem is that uh, they're both of them got their field spells. Um, her field spell is about gaining attack. Your field spell is just I don't have to take huge damage, so you're in trouble. Hot agreed might get you out of trouble. Yes, it will. Okay, with this equip spell, we're gonna weaken the hysteric fairy to a point where Terror King can rip it apart. And now this is what a Shadow Rider can do. This is what we expect. I expect my Shadow Riders to play at this level. Come on. All right. Polly is already on the set, so none of this matters. Terror King is dead, but the other monster, you, sh you should have. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's so good. Such a good play. Sadie learned, Sadie learned really good stuff at Dual Academy, apparently. Apparently, we need to save Dual Academy. Hashtag save Dual Academy. Yeah. Monster aboard. Here we go. Hysteric Fairy is here. Vileponn Archfiend taking your opponent, uh, taking your opponent's light monster is a really good idea. Vileponn's just there for some damage. All right, Skellinjul can buy you a card. Shining Angel can buy you cards. It's a, both plays were good. Let's see. Vileponn doesn't cost you anything. All right, Infernal Queen will destroy it because it lost its defense points. Shining Angel will lose, but the next monster beats Vileponn for sure. Shining Angel, doesn't matter, it beats it. The Hysteric Fairy is the only problem. Will she top deck the fusion she needs? No, she won't. There is no fusion to top deck. She is going to suffer, everybody. All right, Infernal Queen will continue to buff the Vileponn at no cost. That field spell has saved him so many life points in this duel. Desruk is here, which is a light monster. I forgot that's one of the few light fiends in existence from back in the day. No! Goddess with the third eye. Why didn't you just choose that earlier? You, you're dummy. All right, let's see. That was a horrible choice. Oh, wait, no, that was Skeletal. Never mind, that wasn't a choice. It was horrible that you even put it in your deck, though. That's for sure. All right, Heart of the Cards. Oh! That counts! That totally counts. We're fusing everybody. She managed to pull off her fusion at the last second. St. Joan has arrived with 3,300 attack. And oh no. Oh no. Okay. It's fine. You still have power advantage. 26 can't beat you. You could win by popping that field spell. Exactly, they're scared. No! Okay, get Harpies and you can win by popping that field spell. They'll burn themselves to death. Get Harpies. Dark Lord's going to start healing you. See, you're going to start getting more health back. Um, Hopefully, things are going to be okay. You should definitely uh, not set the monster with 1,800 attack points. That is not a play that human beings should make. I guess it makes sense. You're like, oh... The winner is Titan. <laughs> the winner, Axe of Despair, classic, but it does a great job. That's one of the best rares I pulled in my Eternal Duel of Soul Let's Play. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to game number three, because apparently Sadie, uh, even with her best monster, can't handle the Desruk, since it took advantage of her field spell, took advantage of Infernal Queen, and took advantage of Axe of Despair. All right, let's try this again. Come on, Sadie. 
do it for the fans. You surprised us in game number one, but getting a fusion that early definitely was the reason. Let's see about game number two. Let's see how lucky we get. She already has her fusion. Or game three, I mean. We're in game three and she has her fusion. Life is good. Life is good. I understand not wanting to fuse on the first turn because it usually results in that just getting destroyed by Fisher or something. He gets it every time, dear God. No, okay, it's fine. No, K, it's fine. That makes sense. And let's see what he gets. He gets a Vile Pond, sure. Nothing wrong with a Vile Pond. It does its job. Swords! Oh, come on. All right, look, Swords is annoying, but you need to fuse. He almost destroyed your card there. You could fuse any way you want now. I would just say the card's in your hand. Yep, exactly. Because her 2,000 defense is usable. As long as he doesn't get another field, uh, monster, you know. As long as he doesn't get another of uh, those big monsters, you're fine. Oh, look, you stole it. Yeah, there you go. And life is good. Life is very good. And that's a problem. Yeah, no, that's too early. You got this much that early? She's done. She has no hand. She has no hand. She needs to draw Fisher to come back. It doesn't matter. No, it's over. It's over. Titan is here to play. Titan is here to win. He is going to just run her over with her own monster. Best spells in the game. Monsters on his side, not so good. But those spells... Oh, dear God, why would you do that? But uh, those spells, they're pretty good. Harpies are bust. Harpies as well. Harpies or bust. Yeah, harpies or bust. Because you don't want to dark hole this. You want your monster back. That's, that's not going to save you. In fact, because we know he likes to attack with Giant Germ, you're probably going to lose right now. It's it's over. If you got that one turn ago, maybe. Maybe it would have mattered. Oh, no, it wouldn't. No, none of this matters. None of this matters. My God. Did not matter. None of it. St. Jones about to come in and punch you. Yep, it's over. And the winner is the Shadow Rider Titan, which shouldn't surprise anybody, but because of her first duel, she gave us all false hope. <laughs> That first duel definitely gave us false hope. This this duel and the last duel were a lot more appropriate for their power levels. Even though people like to say power levels don't matter, sometimes they do. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at who's up next. Uh, Titan will be moving forward. The next fighters in our tournament. Okay, heavier hitters. We have Kami, Kami of American Academy. We have Arcana, Arcana of the Rare Hunters. Everyone place your bets there. Kami versus Arcana. Both characters are at least decently leveled, but we'll see who's stronger. She did get her fusion every duel, but her fusion was stolen in two of them. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how these duelists go. Uh, do. I'm going to go find their faces as we speak. Kami and Arcana. All right, Kami's ready to duel. She throws away all of her cards. She got Tribe! Well, you lost. <laughs> Holy crap, you lost. Arcana, good luck to you. You are in so much trouble. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, that's probably a good play, but... Unless you get Dark Magician, she's just gonna... She's just gonna destroy you. Oh, hi! That's the Mercury card that we should all be afraid of. Because we saw how good it was in... Uh, when she fought Aster Phoenix, it almost it almost beat Aster Phoenix. Why would you do that? Why on why on earth would you do that? That is that is not good. You fool! This is the one character you don't do that to. She loves to TTs. She loves it. <laughs> she does a thousand burn when you TT her. All right, I understood why he did what he did now, but it did not matter. Oh, Skill Dark is good. Oh, stopping all trap cards is good. And you didn't go for the tribe. And you didn't go for the tribe. Excuse me. Is the AI not programmed to use tribe? Is that why they're not afraid of it? Or is there something else going on here that I don't understand? Let's find out together. They are programmed to use tribe. So what's going on here? Why, why, why didn't you attack the monster that defeats you? A high breaker. It's right there. 
It's right there. The card that will always defeat you. Its effect is God level. Just say, oh crap, now you gotta deal with Mercury. And the Tripper Mercury is here, and it's gonna attack twice. All right. Yep. Her Cyber Twin Dragon is here. And we're gonna see if you can defeat the Planetary Monster. It doesn't have the most attack in the world, but with her United We Stands, it could be a problem. Also, Abyss Warrior. And there's his Legion card, which wants to die typically, because you get a Dark Magician, but... Uh, it do not matter when, you know, Tripper just comes in and trip, 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 uh, whatever. I don't remember the American Dad thing. It's hard to remember. Hey! When are you giving deck lists? Never. Mr. Never. Gannon's as a sub -bud. When are you giving deck lists? You guys are not allowed to find out about how I build the decks or what they look like. You get mad. <laughs> All right. The Tripper Mercury is here. Dark Hole Mr. is Gannon's going in and attack. Good. When are you giving deck lists? And attack, good. And that's it, a planetary monster, the second it was summoned, just def uh, defeated the opponent. His boss is definitely stronger than her boss, but it doesn't make a difference when you can't get yours out. Hey, there we go, Dragon King remembers. All right, let's go ahead and get into uh, game number two. So we're gonna see if Arcana can get a little luckier here. He needs his dark magic curtain, he needs something. Cause once he has a 2500 beater, he could totally defeat Trip or Mercury. Oh, wow, she got unlucky. You're in a good spot now, Arcana. You're in a very good spot. I stand by what I said. You got un She got unlucky. You're in a very good spot, Arcana. Let's see what you get. Skill Dark, Pot of Greed's Nude. That's good. That's one. Oh, only one spell counter. Not what we're looking for. We're looking for a little more than that. Harpies is about to do some good work, but at the same time, you got to be careful with how many spells you play. Harpies is going to do its work. Again, don't play any more spells. Just set your trap and life is good. Good job. So as long as he doesn't play any spells, you're in a great position and you can do whatever you want. Mystic Tomato and perfect. Get rid of the monster before it becomes a problem. That's what it was, Dragon King. Trip, trip, trippity, them old tripping balls. Yeah, I remember now. And Monster Born comes through. Starboy! It's a motherfucking Starboy! All right. The Starboy is here. The uh, other guy is here. The United We Stand. Give it to Starboy. Ah, uh, who cares? And the big damage is here. She is running over her opponent. I An love it. Anonymous viewer. Gifter, thank, thank you so much. I don't know who you are, but I appreciate you nonetheless. And I hope you guys enjoy your sub from the Anonymous. So we're going to go ahead and break them. And that breaking is good. And there goes the Starboy. The Starboy is gone. So even with all that power, one breaker turned it around. All right. Oh, that's going to suck. Yeah, that's the end of the duel. And that is it. Kami just destroys the Rare Hunter Arcana. Did not stand a chance. Not a single chance. She ran him over. All right. Good job, Kami. So this is what she could have done if she didn't have to fight Aster Phoenix in the first round of the American Tournament. Now let's go ahead and let's find out who's up next. The next competitors in our tournament are Macy Hops. All right, Macy Hops is here and she'll be taking on Yami Jesse Anderson. So this is gonna be more of an intense duel. I don't, don't like the odds of either character, either character. I don't know how to pronounce things, but it do not matter. Let's just have some fun today and let's see who wins. Will it be the fourth place minor league character, Macy Hops, or will it be Yami uh, Jesse of Duel Academy? I'm gonna go look for them right now. Yami Jesse is in a good spot. Macy, I'm looking for you. Just give me a little more time. I haven't used her in a long time. Yep, there she is. And Giant Rat will be defeated. All right, well, we got ourselves a bunny that can definitely hold back a tiger, which sounds really stupid when I say it out loud, but I actually do mean it. Is she going for it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is she going for her boss? It's the Rabbit Dragon, the strongest card in her deck. The rabbit that achieved dragon form. Here it is in close-up view. That's her best card right there. Amazing. 
All right, back to the duel. Hey, look, it's Dark Rainbow Dragon. Maybe he'll get it this time. And let's see what happens. And we got Melfi. No, I did not remove G Daigo from the last King of Games tournament just for a good ending. I removed him for story reasons, plot reasons. Everything has to do with the plot. All right. Most of the cards in his hand are useless till he gets his field spell, and none of these cards are his field spells, so he's in a bad spot. Right, Geki Break! Oh no! Was that Manticore? Was that a good play? Wait a minute, was that a good play? Does she get to do that? Where's the field spell? You have three of those and a terraforming. Where is it? He that was such a good play. Holy crap. She got Manticore of Darkness off of that play with Raigeki Break. Where did... Oh, man. I forgot. She's top four material. She got fourth place in the minor league for a reason. Look at her go. Her deck is essentially untouched. And she won. Might have been different if he had drawn his field spell, but damn. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead. And whatever Bernard just said. Let's go ahead and let's get into game number two and see if Macy Hops can knock down Yami Jesse, who, if you saw the plot, is only here looking for Jade and Yuki. Well, look, he got the field spell this time. And he has Dark Rainbow Dragon, so that's a pretty good start. And Pegasus is a good card, and that's a good card. So, so far good. Random Gamer with the Random Mega Gamer Sub Gift! 20 people have been gifted subs! Nobody's watching ads today, not even me! I don't even have to watch ads today because Random Gamer just blew up our chat with a 20 sub gift. And we got new followers and we got new everything. We're going to be having so much fun today. No one's going to be left behind watching those ads. Everyone's going to watch Raigeki Break destroy the field spell. Oh, you didn't hit the field spell. If you hit the field spell, I would have been crazy. Literal hero in chat. And now we still watch the Harpy's Feather Duster do something. We still have a tiger or panther or whatever the hell that is in your hand. Oh, Pegasus is a good choice. Just get more cards down there. Yeah, this is a good choice. And uh, yeah. Pegasus goes in, and Nimble Manga will do its job. No, 20 subs is insane. Like, that's just mind-boggling huge. Random Gamer literally is the leader of today's chat, saving everybody from Twitch. And Nightburn as well, Nightburn here to top us off to 140 subs, Nightburn thanks to Nightburn and their gift to Driss, uh, Driss 007. And Reaper with an extra 100, why not? And there it goes. The Pegasus is gone. And the field is wide open. How many cards do you need to summon Dark Rainbow? Oh, do they have to be in the grave? They have to be in the grave, don't they? And they're right here. Rare Value can help. That can help. Rare Value can help you. Pot of Greed can help you. It needs 10. That's too much. Dark Hole! The Dark Hole is so clutch. There's nothing for Manticore to hit. Oh my god, Dax is coming through as well. Dax with 1,018. We got 142 subs today. Life is good. And because you're getting your subs today, that means you guys won't have to worry about ads March 23rd, the day of our first ever charity stream. So it's going to be the best day ever when that comes around. Even though today feels like the best. Oh no, Manticore's back. Even though today feels like the best day ever. MST, what does it do? The field spell. You got rid of everything. Without the field spell, he's got nothing. The Manticore, you're wide open. This is super dangerous. Yes, we're streaming tomorrow, Jason. Um, March 23rd is a long time from now. That That's like two weeks from now. Two weekends from now. Exactly two weeks. Oh, no, Crystal Abundance. He's so close. He can win with that instead if he can't summon Dark Rainbow Dragon yet. Oh, no. This is it. Crystal Abundance can end this duel. Macy doesn't know. She's never seen it in her life. She's never seen the crystal. Crystal Abundance. Who needs field spells when you can just summon five? Beautiful monster. Oh, only three. Only three? Well, you haven't used Crystal Bond yet, so it's fine. It's fine. Crystal Bond. Tiger, summon it. You haven't summoned a tiger yet. And that is it. The game is turned around and Yami Jesse has won. Yami Jesse definitely has won.
Pretty good, pretty good. So let's go ahead and get into game number three. Will Yami Jesse pull it off or will Macy Hops take down this uh, devastating threat? Yeah, I, I didn't know he had no other monsters. I knew he couldn't summon advanced monsters. I'm saying I didn't know he had no other monsters he could choose. Like, he only had three. Not even Carbuncle was in the grave. All right, rare value, Crystal Bond. All this, this hand is really good. He got his Field Spell. He's got Dark Rainbow Dragon. He's got Sapphire Pegasus. I mean, he's got just about everything this guy could ever want. Ah. Well, he's going to need a new Field Spell. Luckily, his hand is not relying on those, uh, those other monsters. Yeah. But he's going to need a new field spell, that's for sure. There we go. There we go. Read Abundance. I, I don't need to read Abundance. It, does it only say three, or is it based on how many uh, cards your opponent has or something? I, I, I don't want to read. That's not my job. Get Call Ribbon over. Somebody go find Ribbon. She's still in the tournament area somewhere. She won, right? So she's still here somewhere. All right, Cobalt, Amber Mammoth, that's the one. Crystal Ball, never mind, we're getting our Pegasus, aren't we? No, we're going for Tiger. You got a lot of value in today's tournament, lots of rare value. I've seen that card activate a bunch in this tournament. How do I respond to chat? I, I just buy vibes. I can tell, like, based on how long a chat message is, whether it's going to be positive or negative. If it's three letters, I'm just like, oh, okay, they probably are just like, saying yes, no, okay, you know, just something like that. I don't need to read it. I can just understand it. Just kind of feel it. So let's see what we got here. Crystal Beasts are definitely in the lead here, and that's good. We need a Harpies, though. That I hate that sword. It's doing so much work. There we go. That's what we need. Advanced Darkness. Now we can summon our other uh, advanced monsters. Attacks come through. Attacks are good. Do Yugi player read? I have no clue. I have no clue if Yugi reads. All I know is that he was the king of kings. The king who didn't lose his crown, he left his crown. And the person who picked it up was the D. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a scary timeline we lived in. A lot of bad things happened during that timeline. In this timeline, the Blair timeline, we're having a fun weekend tournament where a new summoning is happening. A summoning type is happening. We get to see cool characters like Macy. I mean, life is good. We're having a nice peaceful weekend. In fact, I'll say this whole weekend should be peaceful. This is advanced darkness. Oh, good. He's got all his field spells. What's the face down? Uh, I don't remember. Let's find out together. Dark hole. In other words, we're never going to see crystal abundance because they've set dark hole. And Macy's fine. She's like, as long as I have two monsters left, life is good. It's too peaceful. <laughs> I figured some people would say that and be like, oh, no, wait a minute. I never wanted peace. I want chaos. I want to go back to Domino Knights. All right, MST, just pop the one on the left. I don't trust that one. Yeah, thank you. I was right. All right, good. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute, buddy boy. What are you planning? What is he planning? Here it is! The Dark Rainbow Dragon! And it's here with 7,000 inside. I don't think you were supposed to do that. Uh, yeah, he went for the dragon. He went for it. I would have Dark Hold then done it, but you do you. Dark Rainbow Dragon is here with a permanent 7,000 attack, apparently. Dimensional Fisher! It's gone forever! Macy, he's wide open! No! Macy lost everything! Macy lost everything! Four bunnies are in the grave! Monster aboard for- What the f- What? Of all the things- Wait, no, that's all he can revive. There's nothing in here. It's just garbage. There's nothing but garbage. This duel, there's no more boss monsters. There's nothing to look at now. Everyone just has to win with the scraps they got left. Rainbow Dragon got banished. That's what Dimensional Prison does. Manticore! She has the only boss, well, mini boss monster. 
This is the second strongest card in her deck, and he's got nothing left. Crystal, no, none of this matters. You need monsters. She's going to rip him apart in like four turns. Deck count, really? They got eight cards left. This duel's over in four turns. He's done. Crystal Blessing? Doesn't matter. That's for the grave. There's nothing in the grave. He banished everything. He banished everything. Here comes Manticore again. Part two. Everything is gone. Whoa! There's still a pet. You... Yeah. Was there no target for Pegasus to activate Crystal Abundance? Is that why? Maybe I'm just crazy. There's none in the graveyard. No, he banished them all. That was a misplay. He could Crystal Abundance. At the end of the day, he could Crystal Abundance, even if he can't revive much. He can at least destroy her whole field. He had another one? His mom lets him have two? All right, well, yeah, she lost everything now. This duel's back to... Oh, you don't get to keep that. I understand. You didn't have a choice. And Pegasus sent... There's nothing left. Crystal Blessing. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. He's setting up for another abundance in a, in a worst-case scenario. And, yeah, he has nothing left in the deck. He has to win quickly. Now the deck count matters because he's trying to win. Five cards. He has to win with five cards left in the deck. She needs to find something to hold him back. One of her defensive bunnies could do it, but she's already used most of them. They're, most of them are in the gray. Nope, he can't summon that. They're all banished. Giant Rat can try to stall. Giant Rat can try to stall. Hold on. Mecha Bunny! Mecha Bunny can do, do it! Oh, it's not enough burn because the first one didn't count. He, she almost has him by burn. The bunnies can almost win the duel. It's so close. Pot of Greed. Oh my god, she has so many cards left in her deck. Pa okay, Shard Agreed if she even gets that far. This is game three, and this is freaking clutch. What, is, what else does he have? Pot Agreed. Don't do it. Okay, he was smart. That, I've never seen... No! No way! Macy Hops is going to advance. Yummy Jesse in one of the tightest duels we've ever seen. Will lose. Macy Hops has done it. I love that. Skillender. <laughs> oh, skill issue. Uh, that was great. That was great. Great duel. Great duel from both characters. They gave us a fun one. We got to see Dark Rainbow Dragon, Rabbit Dragon, Manticore. We got to see one of the hardest duels where they lost everything and had to come back on both sides of the field. It was good. But Macy was better. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next duel, which is Sunny Snips and her Tiger deck versus Crump and his Penguins. So, are you guys more of a Tiger fan or a Penguin fan? You only can pick one. Penguins or Tigers? All right, let's see. Sonny Snips and Crump. All right, Crump's ready to duel. I just need Sonny. And then we're going to start this next uh, this next match. I'm ready with Sonny. Let's do this. All right. Getting into the next match. It's Sonny Snips and it is Crump. I'm going to uh, put them on your screen right now. Sunny gets the tiger cards, and Crump gets the penguin cards. And he starts with one of the best penguins in the game. Oh, that one's adorable. Look at this one. Look at that. that, that that's adorable. Oh, and the tiger tries to beat it, but this penguin beats that. So, tiger goes back to the hand. Dark hole. Wow! You spent a whole dark hole because you hate the nightmare penguin that badly. That's really rough. All right, he can attack directly with Flying Penguin, unironically, as that is his best beater at this moment in time. Okay. But you know what? He buffed his best beater because that card buffs all of his penguins. So there we go. Another 1,200. There we go. He's doing some work right now. He's doing some work. It's going to be a, ton a tough one, though. As her Tiger cards, we know she has an 18 beater in her hand. Hot agreed. It could get worse than we thought. And Flaming Tiger is here, and Flaming Tiger rips apart the monster that was buffing the penguins. Good idea. But now he can play defensively and get those penguin effects off, maybe. Or that one. Nope, he doesn't want to use that one. He does have no penguin in his deck. He just uh, has to get... Oh, enraged battle locks. That makes the tigers do piercing damage. No! Horn of the Phantom Beast. You have to get rid of that freaking enraged battle locks. 
Yep, all right. With it gone, Horror of the Phantom Beast effect cannot activate, so there is no top deck. This is going to be one of those situations where you're going to get pierced no matter what, so you got to think of something better. Penguin Soldier, I guess they do lose everything. Anything else? Yeah, it's just going to be the piercing. We knew it. All right, so piercing's pretty rough on Mr. Penguins right now. He's down to 3,700 life points, and the last penguins he does have are Torpedo and Puny, which sounds hilarious. Cold Wave is nice, and you did not use it. it it's a nice card, is all I'm trying to say. It, does, it, it helps. It's a helpful card. And Puny Penguin is gone. Sorry, Puny Penguin. But Puny Penguin's like, my friend will save us. Uh, I would have picked the other one, but sure. And yes, your life points are almost zero now. So that card got banished for using its effect. Um, this is a lot of trouble here. Umi is good. It's not going to help with freaking Penguin Torpedo, though. Yeah, and Rage Battle Lock Summon equals death. You just got outpowered. The Tigers are running you. Oh, that's just mean. The Tigers are running over you. And that is game. Game number one goes to Sunny Snips. She had no trouble in that duel. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into game number two. Uh, no, Duel Academy is led by Industrial Illusions in our story mode. But the King of Games has a lot of control of the world thanks to sponsors. Plus, just being the strongest duelist in the world in a world that's controlled by... Even the cops have to duel, for crying out loud. Being the number one duelist in a world controlled by dueling is too good. Oh, hi there! That's a problem. <laughs> that's a Beast King. All right, Beast King is here. You know what would be a really good card? If you had started No Penguin instead. If you started No Penguin, that would have been super smart. All right, Pot Agreed. So we got to see Sunny Snips' boss monster. Giant Red Sea Snake is good, too. I just prefer if you use no penguin but it's all right they refuse to use cold wave which is upsetting but it's okay i'm sure that won't come back to bite them there's the monster that can destroy your giant red sea snake you did some damage though so maybe you can uh you could do something here maybe you could pull something off umi yeah that could have made your monster stronger it's a little too late for that though and you agree with me <laughs> you need to draw a penguin soldier a nightmare penguin or a puny penguin Indomitable Fighter. Ooh, you're about to take a huge hit to your life points. 2,300. That's rough. But don't worry. The Flying Penguin can do something. Harpies? Yeah, if you want to play for safety. All right, let's see what we hit. We hit Horn of Thanos. Good hit. And we can defeat that card. No problem. Okay, we're just going to end our turn, and we're going to see what the opponent does. Okay, there's the Burning Tiger again, or Flaming Tiger. I don't even know its name. All I know is that you're kind of getting ripped apart here, Crump. You need to do something fast. Top deck Penguin Soldier or Bust. You know what? I'll buy you a turn. It won't buy you a turn. You lost. You super lost. I don't know, Bernard. Maybe they don't know how to use their cards. And no, you didn't lose because they decided to normal summon that. You actually get one more turn. And game-winning attack comes through, and it does not work. Magic Cylinder is magical. Now we're just going to hope for the best. If he does not get Penguin Soldier, it is the end of the duel. Bolt Penguin! Go! Oh, coward. Oh, you want to know what it does since he's not going to use it because AI programming? It's too long, but he gains 800 attack. That's the only part I care about. It gains 800 attack, and the rest is too long. I ain't reading that. Why are they in defense mode? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What did I miss while I was looking at the si the penguin sword? What happened? I, I think I missed something. Sunny Snips, just keep trying. All you have to do, he has a thousand life points left. All you gotta do is attack him. And this is it. Game-winning attack from Indomitable Fire Lele, and it is over. The winner is Sunny Snips. Good job. So, with Sunny Snips going forward, we're going to get rid of Crump. Nobody likes him anyway. I don't mind penguins, but I do mind Crump. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and see who's up next. The next characters in our tournament are Odeon Ishtar. Odeon Ishtar will be going up against Cherry. Cherry of American Academy. All right, let me go ahead and find these characters for you guys. Now, Odeon, personally, I don't like how his AI plays his deck. I had to take out many cards just because the AI refused to play it. And now I got to do that for Crump, too, because he just does not want to play cards. Um, but where are they? And Cherry, she had a tough opponent in American Academy, so we just got to wish her more luck in today's episode. Mm, Odeon, Odeon, Odeon. There he is. All right, let's go. He was in the corner. So let's go ahead and see who's stronger. Will it be Cherry or will it be uh, good old Odeon? Cherry is going to be on this side. As you can see, the field is freaking on fire. And Odeon is going to be on that side. And we'll see who wins. American Academy student or, well, former Rare Hunter. They have to call themselves something else and they're not doing it so far. All right. Oh, there it goes. I was going to say, and there's a monster to beat Sword Flare, and she's going to create a lock, and you're going to lose the duel. He can use traps this turn. Oh, okay. The lock has been stopped, even though he shouldn't have known that a lock was coming. And he can use Jar of Greed immediately. That is fair. Backfire is very nice to have early in the duel. So that's a really good start for Cherry. All right, Sword Flare Dragon does an extra five. He's actually below half. You can see his field is being destroyed. Backfire is going to help in case he overpowers her again. He does not. That is really bad. She might get her lock one way or the other. Nope, Inferno. Oh, Inferno's really good, actually. If it could beat the monster. Oh, you didn't try. Well, you were right not to. All right, Mystic Tomato can hold field with... Why is that... Why? Why? She got her boss. Why? I know for a fact you had more dark monsters to choose at that moment in time. There is a chance of three Mystic Tomatoes, but you did No. 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 Unacceptable. Unacceptable. You lost the duel either way. Get wrecked. Well, Cherry wins. She did amazing. Uh, Odeon, go to heck. <laughs> you uh we're going we're going to game we're going to game two we're going to game two it looks like uh some of the weaker people in today's tournament are getting dealt with crump odeon um who else was weak today no i feel like the other duels were pretty hyped never mind foolish burial is pretty good if you want to try and do some fun stuff with that foolish burial is going to throw away her boss so if, you know some revival will be gone Nah, he doesn't have to worry. His his boss is his brother Merrick Ishtar. He's a nice guy. Mr. Clown, that's right, Mr. Clown. No, Mr. Clown did good. Leave me leave him alone. The clowns are good. He just got an unlucky opponent, I think. He could have done it. He could have gone far. Also, this is unlucky that he has to go. He got he's gonna get hit by harpies this early. That sucks. Ukazi! Come on! Yeah! Burn the house down! Harpy's Feather Duster comes through. Harpy's Feather Duster is good. And there goes Swords. There goes Harpies. There the Yeah, you still are, you're still overpowering him. Fair enough. Really good start, though. And great protect. He's just put it in the deck. Why? It has zero attack points. It has zero. Zero is the absence of a number. It's not a, It's not even a number. Why did you do that? Why would you attack a face down defense mode monster like that? I'm, I can't believe it. That hurts so bad. You lose. A double Abaki with the, yeah, no, no, get, get him out of here. I don't want to see it. I, I, he attacked with a zero attack point monster. I don't want to look at him. Oh, oh man. Oh, you know what? He'll probably put Metal Reflex. Oh, it cannot attack. Thank God. Metal Reflex Slime says it cannot attack. All she has to do is summon Solar Flare Dragon. And she misplayed by not doing it. Oh man. Oh man. So. 
All my Reflex Slime has to do is protect it. Yeah, you should have played Solar Flare Dragon. That's all I'm saying. It's fine. It's fine. Should have done it. All right. Now you can summon Solar Flare Dragon. Now that you know you can't win this other way. Oh, well, why don't we do that instead? Tremendous Fire! And that is it. Cherry just absolutely burns this man. I'm sorry, but he... Ooh, he upset me. That was not okay. Attacking with a zero attack point monster against... I mean, I've seen Treeborn Frog do it, and I like that upset me. But this is a new low. This is an unacceptable low. So let's just go ahead and let's let's get out of here. I don't want to look at these characters. Let's go. Let's move on. You did fine, Cherry. You're fine. You're fine. Wasn't the worst duel out of you. The next duel is Christine, the number one student at duel, uh, Domino High. Versus Yami Kuroda, the number three student of OCG Elementary. So let's go ahead and see these guys uh, go at it. Who is stronger, Yami Kuroda or Christine? Ritual or Caius? I would say the name of the ritual, I just don't remember its name. Alright, so Christine is ready to duel. Yami Kuroda is ready to duel, and I'm ready to watch. And Advanced Ritual Art. She starts the duel with her Ritual Monster, but there's nothing for it to use. So, it's not the best start for her, despite, you know, it being super cool. Um, because it has no protection. There's nothing to target. I'll high send you. All right, now let's see what happens here. Giant Orc isn't strong enough, even with the field spell, so you're going to have to think of something else. Caius is uh, here. Giant Orc can crash, at least. You're not willing to crash? Okay. Be a little careful. Sometimes it's okay to crash. Oh, hi, Dunamis. Oh, hi. Creature Seizure! This is why I said sometimes it's okay to crash, because this happens. You lost your Giant Orc. It's on the wrong side of the field. You have 3,000 life points, yes, left Yami Kuroda. What? You can't handle the number one student at Domino High? All right. Infinity Dark. He lost, didn't he? Premature. Oh, no. He's keeping himself in. He's keeping himself in. All right. That's another thing. Yeah, he couldn't premature Caius anymore because of how good that play was. All right. Attack goes through, and there's nothing more she can do. She has to hide in defense mode. All right. He can come back now with Caius. Caius is good. Caius is good. That will win you duel. It's boss versus boss, and her boss has no protection because she summoned it too early. And now it's gone. And Caius can deal with the rest of this. All right, so how are you going to deal with him now that he's defeated your, uh, your best card? You're not. Okay, she has, she has admitted that she cannot deal with it. Rikaki Break's really good. Okay. Infinity Dark is here. Shining Angel is good. You know. Shining Angel is good. Manju is not good, but whatever. Let's see if she's lucky enough to just to get the ritual stuff she needs. Not really. Rageki Break is interesting. Oh! What? No! Ha <laughs> Triple Chain! Triple Trap Chain to stop the Royal Decree. That card will be defeated. Now, what were you targeting this entire time? It was the game-winning card. How did you know? He outskilled the Skillender. He outskilled it. How did he do it? <laughs> no way. She has to win legit now. I don't know how she does it, but she has to win legit. That Yeah, that would help. I, it, it doesn't beat Caius. As long as he has his field spell, he has the best boss monster. He knew too much. All right, this is it. She's doing it just to have a powerful monster, but like I said, it will not work. She's down by 200 as long as he, she, as long as he has the Mystic Plasmic Zone. And she knows it. He's, she's in defense mode. She's scared, and that's not Magic Cylinder. They only get one. That's going to hurt. It's even stronger than it once was. Kai's at 3,300. This is for game. This is for game. Game-winning attack. It's over. Yami Kuroda in a really tight duel loses game no or wins game number one.
Really good. Really good duel right there. Very exciting. Let's go ahead and let's get into game number two. And let's see what these characters can do. I want to give another shout out to Random, Ga Random Gamer for just being such a good person today and giving so many people subs so they don't have to suffer. I appreciate you and I thank you once again. Two giant germs, that's unlucky. That is unlucky as heck. All right, preparation of rights. All I'm saying, don't do it on the first turn like you did last time. It didn't work out too well. Good job. Wait wait a little bit. All right. Yeah, Pot of Greed could help. Let's see what we get with it. Caius, yeah. Caius could definitely help. Sucks that your giant germs aren't going to work out too well. But other than that, yeah. We'll see what happens here. Advanced ritual. Yep, here we go. It's time, everybody. Advanced Ritual Arts, here comes the Divine Grace North Wumko. I, I, I do not know. Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters have crazy names. Wait, Dark Illusion? Oh, she targeted a Dark Monster. Does that work? That doesn't work. No way. No! What? That totally works! No! She needs another one! Dark Illusion countered her! You should have crashed. You should have crashed while you had the chance. You should have crashed while you had the chance. Caius is here. And he's hungry. Alright, Caius is here and Caius does its job. Monster of Born steals the... Oh. oh my god, he's gonna 2-0 Christine. OCG Elementary has better students than Domino High. He's the third strongest at OCG Elementary. And he's beating Domino High's number one student. This is, uh... Monju? Okay, yeah, one more. This is it. You, you're fine. You can get rid of Caius this way. You're not going to get rid of the other monster. That's going to be a little too hard. But you can get rid of Caius. And that is that is good work. Okay. Use another Divine Grace. Give it, you know, put Monju on there. Put the other. No, both of them. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. A little scary, I know, but you're still in the duel. You're not out just yet, Christine. You've shown us that you have some pretty good strats and good duels. I mean, I mean, a good deck. You just need to get lucky. Crap. He's willing to go all in. So now it's just who has the better beater monsters. Manju. Is, there is one left in her deck, right? So she does have one more Divine Grace left. And she already had the spell! Oh, crap! Oh, no, he didn't know! She just happened to have it already ready to go. That's kind of cheating if you ask me, but whatever. And as long as Manju stays on the field, she's safe. 2700 goes through. That's a lot of damage. All right, let's see what he does. Obviously, I would play the swords at the... This is the oh. He didn't summon an attack mode. The AI was programmed to play swords last. They don't know to play it early. The AI is played to play swords last. Dear God. You need that field spell. You need it and you need to summon it and you need to you need to destroy you need to destroy ritual monster. Ritual monster problem. Good. She's out of it. She's done. She's done. She's out of all of her best cards. She has to win with the basic support in her deck. And he has a field spell. Exactly. You're scared. Yami Kuroda can win this. He still has Caius in his deck somewhere. He could still summon it right now. All right, Caius is already on the field. He's ready to hit somebody with his Shadow Ball. And it looks like we're targeting, targeting the Shining Angel. Again, targeting the Shining Angel. She's probably going to be running out now. And that's her final Shining Angel. So, with 1,700 life points left, find a way to win this duel with no ritual. You are not going to win with a ritual. Guaranteed. You have to win with whatever else you got. That's pretty good. That is really good. Holy crap. Can you beat 1,500 attack? Oh. I, that implies that you can't. Are you telling me you don't have Dunames on the field just hiding in defense mode? Is that what we're saying? I, I think that's what we're saying. That was a really good play from Yami Kuroto right there. All right. He wins. Uh, the second giant germ dies. To, unless she draws. No, she, he wins. He wins. He wins. The second giant germ dies in battle. It's over. And he has one in his hand for backup. 
She got her boss monster back. So apparently she felt she summoned it four times. She summoned her boss four times to win this duel. And it was close. But all he has to do is sacrifice a germ for game. He has the life points. Germ for game. Or you could use Infinity Dark's effect too. Yes, that works. And now germ for game. It's over. Yami Kuroda, in a pretty intense back and forth in both duels, he wins. That was uh, pretty good. Maybe Domino High isn't the worst. They just, they, it's just not good. Not good enough. Not good enough. Yami Kuroda's way better. Elementary schools are beating you. You suck. All right, so let's go ahead and let's check out who's up next. We're at the end of round number one. And round number one is going to end with my buddy Bones, the zombie duelist, versus Yang, the forgetful duelist. All right, let's go find uh, these characters and see who's better. Yang uses a level uh, monster deck with Dark Lucius. Bones is just old school zombies. Old school zombies. Oh, when, do, when did I use Yang last? Was she at the... Yeah, she was at the Youth Cup, right? All right. Here we go, guys. Yang versus Bones. We're going to find their faces really quick. And we're going to get this started. Okay. Mizuki could probably beat any defense mode monster she has. That's uh, probably the case. Oh, adhesion sucks. All right, so you don't have that much attack anymore. That's not good. What you really don't want to do is be destroyed by dark... Lucius or anything like that. Harpies? Okay, Harpies is pretty bad. That's not good. My buddy Bones is in a bit of trouble. Got, that's not good. That's a rat. Alright, rat is here. You're in a bit of trouble, but it's fine. You want Mizuki in the grave. That's all That's all part of the plan. Just, uh, if I were you, Mystic Tomato or Pump Princess. Oh! I forgot, you're an Earth Monster. You still lose this fight. Um... Uh-oh. Mizuki for Mizuki, yes, yes, this works. Whatever, whatever it takes to win this duel, I don't care. Do whatever it takes, Bones. Ah, crap. <laughs> How is she top decking? It, like she hasn't even drawn another monster, but every spell and trap she's activated is exactly what she needed. All right, now Pump Princess or Mystic Tomato is the right choice. Yep, why not? Why not? Let's start the weakening, weaken process. She's already weakened your monsters a billion times. It's about time you did it to her. So Pump Princess does die, but it wanted to because now it becomes uh, a spell and trap card so that she could use it for his Amon, of course. Uh, that's a good card, too. And we got to get ourselves a cannon that doesn't exactly matter at this point in time, but might matter if that uh, Mystic Tomato gets destroyed. Pump Princess is every turn, not every standby, uh, every one of your standby phases. It's every single standby phase. So you're going to lose a lot of life points. Uh, Dark Hex Seal was a bad choice. I would have picked Snake Hair, but, you know, AI is AI. Pyramid Turtle is pretty good, though. That Actually, it's perfect. Pyramid Turtle's stronger. All right, Pyramid Turtle destroys the rat, but the rat wanted to die it's so he can get a fresh rat. <laughs> a fresh rat. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. Yeah, your stats are still problematic. And we can finally bring back Mizuki, which our cannon will now fire. The cannon can fire once per turn, and it will fire right now. That giant rat is now at 1,500, which is not good. It's starting to go back to its normal stats. And Gaia Power Refresh. He thinks that's the problem. He doesn't realize the Pump Princess is the problem. Giant Rat Refresh. He... he no, it's not you. It's 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 the Pump Princess. Giant Rat Refresh. This is a weird duel. This is a very weird duel. That is the weakest form of her Dark Lucius cards. Pump Princess has put them down. Now it's negating Gaia Power. Pump Princess is now negating Gaia Power. It's better. Right now, it's better than freaking, uh, whatchamacallit. That, what's that one card called? Um, uh, Burden of the Mighty. All right, Dark Lucius has returned, but it's going to have 900 attack. It is now better than Gaia Power. It's overpowering Gaia Power. Call the Haunted. It doesn't matter. That doesn't look. As long as that Pump Princess is... Oh, it's boss monster time. Dark Lucius with 2,700 attack. Now you're in a bit of trouble, I'll admit. Now you're in a small amount of trouble. All right, Pump Princess is like, hey, I'm still doing it. Yes, that Dark Lucius is really powerful, but I'll figure a way out of this. Call the Haunted for 1,600 burn is a little brutal, I admit. 
the cannons shall fire. But you can only do that once per turn. So every turn, the cannons are allowed to fire. If you special summon a zombie. Alright, there we go. Bone's strategy seems to be working, but she has her strongest card. So if she gets... Oh, she already used Harpies. She did already use Harpies, right? That, that happened earlier. Dark Lucius level 8 gets rid of Mizuki, but that recharges the cannon because now Mizuki could summon a monster for the cannon. That's really dangerous. Alright, Palm Princess again. It's getting dangerous. Interesting. We're just going for damage. Yeah, if Harpy already happened, I don't know. MST on Pump Princess is your best choice? I, I, even that would suck because, honestly, you're going to lose to Burn. Here comes another Cannon Fire. 1,600. If Pyramid Turtle dies, you win. If Pyramid Turtle dies, you win the duel. Any special summon from, of a zombie from now on is game. Pump Princess at 10, you lose 1,000 attack points. Pum Princess says you lose 1,000 attack. You do not get to play Yu-Gi-Oh. All you have to do is sacrifice Pyramid Turtle. And you're smart enough to do that. Good job, Bones. AI is smart. And you chose any zombie monster, and that is the end of the duel. Everybody, Bones will take game number one using a Pum Princess uh, burn strategy, which was weird. It worked, though. I can't even be mad because it worked. So, let's go ahead and get into game number two and see what these characters can do. Yang, you tried your best that duel. The Pump Princess just kind of held you back too much. So, my advice to you is save Harpies. Harpies is only for Pump Princess. That Harpies Feather Duster is about to have a lot of value. That Harpies Feather Duster is brutal. What did you lose? Oh, Call of the Haunted Magic Cylinder Adhesion is all gone. Oh, but Asmodian will not die. The House of Asmodeus will survive. All right. Well, let's see what else you got. You need something better than that guy. Oh, you don't have anything better than that guy. I think it's time we brought out the king. The Palm King. All right. Boss slash mini boss of, uh, yeah. Of uh, our little zombie boy here, Bones. And we just have ourselves a set. The Pump King did a really good job, though. And now with a snake hair backing it up, I'm sure it can do even better. And Giant Germ will be very good because now they have a better chance for tributing. There's another Germ on the field, isn't there? That's super unlucky. All right. Very unlucky. The best thing you can get now is Dark Lucius level 6. Which does not beat Pumpkin level 6, that's for sure. And it looks like she's bricked, and it looks like we're going to see a clown zombie. Oh man, the classics are coming out! We're going to see all of them! Come on, you summon armored zombie, snake hair, clown zombie, Pumpkin. We just need dragon zombie, and the and the, the whole story is complete. Draw dragon zombie and win duel with it. Come on. Do it, do it. She got all of her level monsters. Go. Do it. Ah. That's not Dragon Zombie. All right, whatever. Just win the duel anyway. You're fine. And that is game, everybody. The winner of the duel will be, with the Pumpkin, Bones. Bones will be moving on to round number two. Yang is... That Harpy's Feather Duster was pretty brutal. It stopped anything she could have done to evolve into better monsters. So, yeah. Let's just, let's just move on. We're into round two of our tournament, guys. Let's go find Bones' face so he's not on our screen anymore. At least not now. And let's go see who should be on our screen. So moving into round two of the tournament, obviously that means we're going to move into the stronger characters, the newer characters. And the newer character is Pete Coppermine. Pete Coppermine is the strongest ranked um, card professor we've seen to this date. And Pete Coppermine will be going up against Ribbon. So let's see if Ribbon can do it for all the fans out there. Do it for the kids. You got to teach them how to read. It's important. So many people grow up not reading their cards and then they don't even know what they're doing. They end up playing the game with their friends and they just make up the rules as they go along. For some reason, MST's a negate. Dust Tornado's a negate. Like, it just, it just doesn't make sense. So let's go ahead and find these characters. Now, I haven't used Pete before, so I might need... Yep, no, I found him. All right, Petey's here. And then I need Ribbon. Ribbon? She is. 
Like Crumb not playing his spell. He didn't read his spell. They're putting ritual monsters in the extra deck. Exactly. All right. Petey, are you going to draw your... Uh... No, you're not. But you're probably going to do that, aren't you? I don't know if I agree with that. I would have I would have waited for the burn. I would have just let the burn happen. Because now you're still dealing with the same problem. And you're not going to be able to do... You know what, Ribbon? Kick his butt. All the card professors have been disappointments. I want you to keep it going. And for those of you that are curious, the decks are pretty much lore accurate with just a few additions to help out. Any card that they're using is a card they actually did use in the show. Or at least we're seen with in the show. Or the manga. So here comes his card. This is one of his uh, genetic freaks, as he liked to call it. And his genetic freak is the Lycanthorpe, which is a pretty powerful monster that uh, is going to be a problem. 24 is as strong as her boss monster. Her strongest card is Chaos Command Magician at the same attack points, which we haven't seen once in today's uh, episode. 200 burns, not that much, but it's something. Witch of the Black Forest, okay. And 1700 comes through. So, I don't know why they played that in attack mode. You're supposed to set that card. And I'm very upset that it happened. But I can't change anything. You should never set that... You should never summon that card in attack mode. On main phase 2, after you've already done everything else. That was very stupid. <laughs> that was very stupid. Its set effect actually has value. Its normal summon means nothing. Alright, so Hunter Dragon, Lycanthorpe, all of it going... Oh, we lost the Lycanthorpe! Okay! Power advantage is being shifted back to Ribbon. If she can get her boss monster, that is. Breaker's good, too. I didn't even think about Breaker. Breaker's real good. Magician of Faith. Okay, okay. Bringing back some spells. Very good. Okay, she has now regained control of the duel. For sure. Breaker is about to break worlds. Bound Wand is about to break worlds. And 2300 attack is very, very powerful. Alright, so what are we going to do here? Set that card. Alright, call the Haunted for Lycanthorpe. Yep, if they knew about it, they would have used Breaker to stop it, but they didn't. So now they're going to suffer. The good news for them... Oh, 400 burns. The good news for them is they will get their Breaker back, and then it's going to die again. Yeah. Doesn't get its effect on Special Sun. Please set it. Oh, oh, yeah, now you feel like setting it. Thank you. Please, thank you. Harpies. Oh, Maiko's effect. Interesting. Maiko destroys Lycanthor. Breaker is going to destroy worlds. But this is why I said set that other monster. Because now you're in a position where setting it was the right play. Watch this, everybody. Okay, well, he, he was going to win either way. But still, Lycanthor is here. Pete Coppermine is about to put Ribbon in the grave. All he has to do is flip his monster. I'm sorry. He doesn't know how to read, does he? Ribbon, teach him to read. You had game. Sir, you had game. All you had to do is flip your monster. You see that? Okay, now that he's physically seen it, maybe he knows how to use it all of a sudden. Did you see that? Book of Moon. Now she, oh, she's like, here's a book. She threw the book at him. She legit threw the book at him and is like, read. All right, get your boss. Boss for game. Yeah, she got it! Chaos Command! It's all gone, but who cares? Chaos Command Magician to the rescue! This is what you get, sir. This is what you get. Oh, dear God. Kitty cat, what are you doing? Oh, dear God. Kitty girl, what are you doing? I'm streaming. What is that? Why is it an attack? Worse, why is it an attack? And what the hell is that? It's too complicated. I'm not reading that. Uh, snatch steal. Uh, did you just snatch steal a hundred attack point monster? You're actively gonna heal your opponent. That monster good. That monster do nothing. Harpy's feather to guarantee that you can go in this turn. Yeah. You're gonna start book of. You're literally gonna start healing your opponent. Oh no! Wait, book of eclipse ruins it, right? It's over. Go back to the right side of the field. Right. 
right? Wait, do you get to keep that now? The Royal Magical... What is this duel? This is the first duel and nothing makes sense. You get to keep that? He got his boss. He got his boss monster, the mind, the mutant master. Pot agreed. Oh, and she got her boss. Here it is. Chaos Command Magician returns to defeat her own defensive monster. I, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Double mind. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, his boss isn't so good unless they have two monsters on the field. There we go. Now there's two monsters on the field. Oh, well, hi there. And bye there. That was a horrible choice. That, that was absolutely unacceptable with how bad that was. That is more interesting, but still bad. Dark Hex, okay. No! Deflected damage! Now, he, all he has to do is attack with my master and he wins. If his AI knows how to use his... Oh, doesn't matter. He drew Lycanthorpe. Okay, but still. He could have won just by attacking with my master if he wanted to win that way. I'm so upset. Lycanthorpe for game. Miss body for whatever. Okay, you have to use your mutant. Show everybody your mutant. You have to use it to win the duel. And he doesn't know how to use it. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad the manga characters can't learn to, learn to use their cards. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is what happens. This is, wait, you're from the manga. I just thought about that. He's from the manga. You have to read. To, you have to read the manga. And you can't even use your card. You still won. Who cares? Can't even read. Can't even read. Ribbon's monster negate effects. You just target any other monster. As long as you steal one that does 600 damage to another, you're good. But yeah, Ribbon's boss monster cannot be stopped by... I mean, cannot be targeted by his boss monster, I believe. Maybe. I don't know. All I care about is that he sucks. Let's go in. He won, though. He did win, though. All right. Set giant germ. That would be my play. Oh, if you're aggressing? Okay. Uh, play Mystic Tomato. That'd be my play. Don't Dark Hole. Good job. Book of Moon. Okay, that's fine. We're on round two of the tournament. This is game number two of this fight. Pete Coppermine and his Lycanthor put a big hole in Ribbon's uh, strategy last time. Bound one is good. He's not going to use Breaker's effect. Mystic Tomato wanted to die, though. Mystic Tomato gets Mystic Tomato. Nothing wrong with that. Funny enough, he could steal Breaker with Brain Control and then use it to destroy Bound One, which would be really funny. Because then you just drop all their attack points that way. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> At least he knows how to use the ritual side of his deck. Let's, uh, let's watch. No, no one clipped that. Not, that one's not allowed to be clipped. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, baby. All right. So, Lycanthorpe's coming through. And Lycanthorpe knows what to do. It's gone. All right. Well, the one card that has been useful to him is gone. Yes, he can get back Hunter Dragon, which is just a good card. Miss Body on Hunter Dragon is valuable. And we're just going to start attacking. Of course, her deck isn't too scared of Miss Body since she runs a bunch of book cards. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the first six turns of this uh, duel never happen. The duel starts now. All right, Dark Hole. Yeah, see, that's an effective Dark Hole. You cleared out his field. There's nothing to work, work with now. He's bricked. For some reason, he started the duel with zero cards in his hand. And you also started with only three, so that's really rough. That's actually usable as an attacking monster. I'm not going to lie. I've used it as an attacking monster many times. Giant Soldier Stone is classic and very valuable. Heart of the Cards, Fisher. Yes, I understand. Giant Soldier Stone's scary. We have to Fisher it. Also, nobody... How come he's top decking monsters? Where's your monster? Oh, that's really lucky. That's, like, unbelievably lucky. Holy crap. Uh, you're in danger. You're in a lot of danger. I know he's probably running out of normal monsters by now, but uh, even then, you're still in a lot of danger. 
This is going to hurt. There's going to be a lot of burn behind this. Lycanthorpe is here. And with 24, it goes in. And then add on the extra tick of 800. 1,000, I meant. 1,000 burn every time it does damage. Yeah. You already used Dark Hole. You're done. All right. The winner is the guy who's going to upset my brain this entire tournament. Oh, look. Skillender. Uh, yeah, this is just great. Oh, you had Book of Moon. Okay. You were just wait. I understand. You wanted to have a tribute. I got you. You have one turn left. Make it count. Maybe you have, do you have your Nobleman? You want to use Nobleman? Harpies is good. That's, you know, you out, you out skill the Skillender. You, you got Nobleman? You don't got Nobleman. Oh. All right. If he draws anything, he wins. Except that card. Don't summon that card. You don't know how to use it. Book of Moon again. Yes. Yes. Keep throwing books at him until he learns how to read. Keep doing it. Throw more books. All right. Yes, he's screwed. He keeps drawing that card, which is worthless. Hex Seal doesn't matter. He didn't do any battle damage, so that means he doesn't win. No burn effect unless he does battle damage. Okay, get, get something good. Yeah! Wait, not good enough. Wait, no! No! No, I meant no! I didn't mean yeah! That was better when you had Book of Moon! If you could put it... What the hell?! That counts! We're counting that. We're counting that. I saw three... We're counting that. All right, damn it. Oh, he won. All right, let's just move on. Let's just move on, everybody. I'm fine with this. All right, let's go. Let's go. I don't want to see him duel again, and yet I have to. She didn't really make any big mistakes. She didn't really have much choice in these duels, but she didn't have a chance. Um, the next duel is Serenity Wheeler versus Titan. Oh, crap. Titan could just steal her monster, so this could be really bad. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we might be able to say that, Mr. Bot. I know you're not a bot, but you have bot in your name, so I'm going to call you bot. All right, let's see. Serenity Wheeler versus Titan. My God. This is, uh, is going to be rough. Bones did win, yes. Bones did win. Uh, he got a really good Harpies in game two, and that kind of just guaranteed go the game for him. So let's get into this. Titan versus Serenity. Serenity has, I would say, the power advantage. Titan has the tactical advantage. As Serenity's deck is not known for tactics, it's more of a just like, hey, look at me. I got cool cards. And we're counting it. But count it. Count it. They were all right next to each other. We have proof. We have proof. Also, there's one of the cards that resembles her brother's card. Uh, let me go find their faces now. A lot of bullcrap today, honestly. It's supposed to be a peaceful tournament, and yet my brain hurts. And there goes the opponent's monster. It's on the wrong side of the field. You know what? That was one of the worst cards they could have stolen. This is perfect for Serenity. This is actually a perfect situation. It's even better than I thought. Serenity, all you have to do is attack your own Mass Dragon. Beautiful. And then you get two free monsters. And now, one of them could be Red Eyes Black Chick, is all I'm saying. And that would be valuable. Red Eyes Baby Dragon's good, too. Yeah, see what I mean? Main phase two, get a Red Eyes. Free Red Eyes on the field. What? It's a special summon. Serenity, it's a special summon. You're allowed to do it. You can summon Red Eyes. And he got his boss, but Fang with Chain is here. And what just happened? Oh, we're going to find out. A four. Oh, he's in trouble. <laughs> I gave her all the cards that resemble Joey's cards from the deck, uh, cards he's used in our series. And um, Swords is there. Yep. No matter what, he was going to have to deal with Meteor Black Dragon, but my god. Uh, Red Eyes? Okay, I was going to say, please at least summon the Red Eyes. You know, if you, I know you don't want to, but if you praise MST right now, oh my god. If you just MST the swords, you have value. They're being nice by giving you more cards. Yeah. They got unlucky that the summon skull effect didn't stop it. Skull Archfiend of Lightning could have stopped it. Yeah, I get it. It's like, I have your power now. 
So that red eyes baby dragon is now a red eyes skull archfiend dragon. All right, that swords has to end eventually. You can't get away with this forever. But he needs, she needs to get, she should have killed the swords. Because every turn he has a chance of getting another one of those Archfiend cards to, oh god. Um, uh, another one of those cards to steal his Meteor, her Meteor Black Dragon. There we go, you want to play Harpies? Okay, we won't MST, but we'll play Harpies. Good. Go. Go get him. With all the monsters. Yeah, do that. I don't care. Red Eyes Baby Dragon is gone because guess what? We're going to summon Red Eyes Black Dragon with a little equip. Get him in there. Yeah, it's like a pyramid turtle. And now we're going to go for massive damage. What? What are we doing? Whatever. That was weird, but we'll, we'll take it. And there it is. The winner is Serenity Wheeler. So Randy Wheeler got lucky with a few things, and the fact that he didn't get harpies really helped. So let's go into game number two and uh, see what they can do. Will Serenity's baby pyramid turtles be able to keep her in the game? Or will he get his skull archfiend too early? Okay. You got the red eyes black chick without the red eyes black dragon, so that's not good. Okay, you got your field spell. That's a good start for Titan. Titan needs his field spell. Premature on the monster he threw away. I think his uh, his brain didn't time that one. His brain definitely did not time that one. And now the monster's on the wrong side of the field. Okay, Summon Skull. Funny enough, they both like Summon Skull. And he's like, hey, I love that card. Thanks for letting me sap up them life points. And we're just going to have some sets. Okay, we got some back row too. That's really good. Back row is fun. We have ourselves another Red-Eyes Black Chick, but no Red-Eyes Black Dragon. But Red-Eyes Retro Dragon is here. The giant Germ is going to go away, but that's completely fine. As it's part of the plan. And Magic Cylinder. So not only did they drain you, but you took super big damage on the way back. All right. What else we got? Call the Haunted? Yeah, for your uh, general. He's not strong enough, though. Oh, yes, he is. All right. We're going to weaken. All oh, it's Terror King. Terror King Archfiend is so valuable when your opponent's playing defensively. And it looks like Red Eye Spirit brings back Retro Dragon to save the day. And it's gone. And it looks like you're in danger. Hot Agreed for Red Eyes. That's your only hope. Red Eyes Black Dragon. No Whoa, that one works. That works. That totally works. All right, Red Eyes Baby Dragon is coming back. It turns into a Red Eyes Black Dragon, and it gets a little stronger. And we're going to see. Okay, we got rid of the Equip spell. That's the most important thing. Got to be careful with Terror King, though. There's a few cards in that deck that work pretty well with it. And we're going to see if they get it. All right, Red Eyes Black Dragon is going to do its job with Red Eyes Baby Dragon on its uh, as helping out. Please give her a Terror King. That card could be a problem. Now, your life points are getting a little low, but you're fine. He already used Magic Cylinder. His only hope is getting Skull Archfiend and buffing it with Axe of Despair. Or getting his Falling Down card, which will just win him the duel, because that's what happens. There's the... I was always talking about that. Harpies would make a big dent, but 2400 is still a lot of attack, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, that's three of those. Ah, he doesn't have it! If he had his Skull Archfiend, or he also runs Summon Skull. If he had his Summon Skull, he would have been fine. All right, Red Eyes. Oh, we going to make it? My favorite card. Here it comes. The number one card in Duel Monsters, the level nine Black Skull Dragon. Screw low life points. All that matters is how low your life points get. Boom and boom. Life is good. Life is good. The music's picking up, too. Keep hearing a frog, though. It's weird. Hey, welcome, Dog Sausage. I hope you have some fun today. Oh, crap! We're going to see another Red Eyes Black Dragon! And that is it. End this duel. Desruk is gone. Thank you so much for following, Jenny. I appreciate that. And the game-winning attacks are coming. Black Skull Dragon for game, and that is ugh, super awesome.
You like Black Meteor Dragon more? Well, you're wrong, but good for you. <laughs> you're wrong, though. I'm joking. It's also a really cool card. Meteor Black Dragon's fine. But I'm a Black Skull Dragon guy because Duelist Kingdom was hype when I was a kid. I actually remember watching that on Saturdays. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. The first synchros are themed around the character's deck. Whoever wins today will get synchro monsters that fit their deck. There we go. Or decks of the or if they're here for an organization or other party, it'll fit their party or organization's deck. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens. The next duel is going to be Klamath Osler versus Kami of American Academy. So Osler here is going to be using his insect deck. He is the manga character from Yu-Gi-Oh R, the Yu-Gi-Oh R manga. Anyone that remembers that one, uh, and he uses an insect deck in our tournaments. Kami, on the other hand, is using. Uh, uh, American Academy deck with uh, the Tripper card. No one remembers the Tripper card. And let's go ahead and get into it. You don't have to worry. Uh, the, the good thing about Duel's Kingdom is it's not watching you. You're not watching Yu-Gi-Oh. You're watching like role playing, which is even better. All right, so let's go ahead and see what happens. We got ourselves uh, Klamath. We got ourselves Kami. I'm gonna get their faces on the screen real quick. Kami is good to go. Klemeth is here to go. Yu-Gi-Oh! R manga versus Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh... Honestly, she'd be an attack force character, wouldn't she? Resonance Insects. So, that doesn't count because he searched, but uh, three of the same monsters is pretty brutal. And she's going in for 24. That's unlucky. What would Sarandi get if she wins? You'll have to find out next time. Anybody that puts thought into it, you can have fun with it, but uh, everyone else, you just have to wait. And there's a Starboy making her a 3,700 attack, but Starboy can't get through a Howling Insect. Yeah, these uh, Dread Sights aren't going to be doing so good. Ooh, okay, here's one of his newer cards. Everybody, this is Praying Mantis. And Praying Mantis gets a token. And Aqua Spirit can put the Praying Mantis into defense mode. And we got ourselves the boss monster, but with an equip spell, it is at 3,000 attack, but Starboy and the United We Stand are too much. Torietro Reborn creates a problem. We're not we're not at Zexel yet. I will not tell you when, but we're not at Zexel yet. And Dread Scythe is not strong enough anymore. Just because the Starboy came back. Piranha Army! Oh no, Piranha just double damage! It's over! The Piranha Army! It does 2600! Kami has defeated a card professor in game number one. The second I saw it, I was like, wait, that's too much damage. Oh no. And we're going into game number two. And let me go ahead and let me get some water. All right. Oh, that's actually the card he used in the manga. So, guys, his whole deck was because he used this card in the manga. I'm not going to lie. This is the only one. DNA surgery is here. So now she's not using fish anymore. She's using, uh, yeah, she's using insects just like him. And he got Pinch Hopper, though there's nothing really to target right now. It's fine. Just getting rid of these United We Stands should be a priority. Oh, look, double DNA surgery. Yeah, you're in a bit of a bad situation. I think what you need to do is get ready for United We Stand to get, yep, even more out of control. Pinch hopper yourself into defense mode with Praying Mantis or Beatron, whatever you want. I can't stop you anyway. And then hope that things go well for you. Okay, that monster is now at way too much. That's 4,200. That monster could defeat Obelisk the Tormentor if it had to. So... Dread Scythe doesn't matter. None of this matters. Kami's going to run over one of the card professors as if he was nothing. And that's game. Starboy. It's game. It's game. She's going to go so... Oh, no. She attacked with the wrong monster. Uh, she's going to go so hard right now. DNA surgery. Interesting. So Praying Mantis's effect by getting rid of the DNA surgery. I think it can cancel... Oh, it can bounce back the monster. That's really interesting. And infinitely, infinite Antillion is gone. That kind of sucks. So, heart of the cards, what else can you get? Burn Sanctuary is way too late. If you start the duel with that, it's good. Now it's too late. We're about to see some heavy damage. Get this Discount Weevil out of here. You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> discount Weevil is right. And Burn Sanctuary does not save the day. 22, 23, and the big 55! Kami gives us the fastest match of the day. 
That was easily the fastest match of the day. Our new insect character, he got a very, let's just say he got an unlucky bracket. Maybe he could have done something to other characters, but nothing to this one. Kami is looking to win today's tournament with this much power. It reminds me of a young Taya. <laughs> the next duel is going to be another one. It's Deschutes Lu versus Macy Hops. So this is another one of the card professors. He is the weakest of the card professors, but we're going to leave him be. Uh, Mr. Lou Pickles here is going to be taking on Macy, the bunny girl, bunny mom. And we're going to see if Macy Hops does well. She did well in round one. It was pretty intense duels, but she did do well against Yami Jesse. So maybe she could do it again, or maybe she met her match. And thank you, Mutugeki Gamer. I appreciate the follow. I really do. I hope you enjoyed today's tournament. Let's get into the fight. So, Deschwitz, old Lou Pickles here, is going to be taking on... Uh, I completely forgot him, and my brain can't... Oh, my brain can't remember. Come on, brain. Do, do me a favor here. Do me a favor here. Crap. Okay, Bunny Mom. Thank you. Damn it. I, I could not remember. It's, I, I have very bad memory, but it's okay. I'm here now. And he did it. He made it so he can get his boss monster, the Castle Gate. All right, Castle Gate will be set. Dark Hole instead. Uh, that is the choice we've made. I think that is the choice we made instead. Dear God. Okay. Vanilla in attack mode. Negate attack on vanilla. Oh, Jesus Christ. The vanilla in attack mode was aggravating enough, but then you actually did that. I... You're attacking with it? You're dimensional prisoning it? Why did that get so much value? Oh my god, that got way too much value. Why did... Why are you attacking with a zero? No, not you, Macy. Not you. Oh god, we stole... What is this duel? Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no, not like this. Not like this. What is this duel? I've been seeing bunnies with 100 attack, with zero attack. And they're getting trap cards out of here. They're, 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 they're getting rid of traps. Okay, let's hope for the best. We got a Waboku. We got a Castlegate boss monster. Good. Castlegate has value. That is good. What are you going to do, Macy? You're in trouble here. Macy, no. All right, Macy, it's fine. It's fine. Get your rabbit dragon. Rabbit dragon will help. Okay, we got double castle gate. You're going to need a dark hole. I give up. You're going to need a dark hole. You know what? The only hope for Macy Hops in this duel is that the AI will attack with castle gate because they've done it. I I've seen her attack with freaking zero attack point bunny. So you might as well. Attack with Castle Gate. Oh man. Oh man, I'm getting I'm getting upset. She's deflecting herself to death. This is the first defensive deck that's actually doing its job right. Rabbit Dragon, thank God, save us. Save us from this torment, please. Please. Oh dear no. Alright. So, Rabbit Dragon's not gonna save you. You have to think of something else. Why are you attacking? I'm, I'm done with this AI. The computer does not know how to play. The computer does not know how to use it. They're deflecting themselves to death. Unless they run the card, um, what is it called? Uh, life Equalizer. They've thrown the duel. They've completely thrown the duel. They're oh, doing it. We're done. We're done. It's fine. Macy's Macy's had a long day. All right. She's had a long day. Let's go into game number two. Let's go into game two, even though I wish I could just end it right now. Let's just go into game two. Let's hope for the best. I'm crossing my fingers on this one. Please. A regular game where a single bunny card doesn't get rid of three cards. A single game where the bunnies do not take three trap cards to get rid of it. All right. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fun. Uh, okay, that one's fine. That's Blade Rabbit. Blade Rabbit has, is good. Even if it gets stolen for two seconds, it's good. doesn't matter. Give it back to her. That's right. 
All right, Blade Rabbit has value. Crap, Giant Rat. Crap, Harpies. Saku's gone, so they can't protect the Blade Rabbit. That's a shame. Uh, what are we going to get from this? Dark Hole. Sad, but whatever. If you play Banilla in attack mode, I'm going to get very upset. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Your bunnies have good defense. Use it. Use the good defense. We have some sets now. Bring in the next one. No, no. Can I just get one person that programs Master Duel to just come into the stream and be like, you know what? We'll fix that. We'll stop them from attacking with monsters with zero attack points. Just like anything else fine, but zero, zero should not happen. It should, it should never happen. And we got more, more sets. They keep attacking with zero point monsters and it's not okay. This whole duel is hurting me. Soul Resurrection. Good. You want it in defense mode. This is how you use those cards. Until you get Rabbit Dragon, this is what you should do. Pot of Greed into Rabbit Dragon. This is what we're looking for. Mecha Rabbit first. Sure. There we go. Okay. Now we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. This is how you play the game. Rabbit Dragon easily destroys the opponent. And then, you know, blow through the rest of his monsters before he gets the... Whatchamacallit? Um... Castle Gate. Crap. It's fine. She has revival cards. It's fine. She'll bring it back. Electric Virus. Yeah. Bring in something better. 1400 attack. Go. Very good. Two traps. Good. Brain Control. Eh, it's fine. It's a waste of a brain control. I know her life points are low, but they're not that low. And they didn't even do anything. Rabbit Dragon's back. Next turn, it's going to start destroying you. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. What else we got? Mecha Bunny in attack mode. Not what I like to son of a bitch. I was going to say, what, the second she played that in attack mode, I knew she was going to mess this up. But it's fine. Giant Rat comes through. The life points are pretty even. He already used Dark Hole. She's going to win game number two, which the only thing that upsets me about that is we're going to have to see a game number three. And typically, I don't mind watching Macy duel. But against this opponent in particular, it's hurting her brain. Last last duel, she was great. When she was fighting uh, Yami Jesse, she did great. This duel, only upsetting. Perfect damage. Winning with exact damage is always fun. Let's go ahead and let's get uh, into game number three. And let's hope that this doesn't get worse. Let's just hope it doesn't get worse. All right, going first. Everyone in chat, because Lou is making AI play like this, please vote for Macy. Please give her your energy. Make sure Macy wins this duel, for the love of God. That would only make sense if they were attacking directly, right? Not when they're attacking a defense mode monster. For Gors. Alright, we have a Harpies. Harpies gets rid of Call of the Haunted, which does not matter. Anything else? Got a tribute? I'm waiting for her to get Manscore. She didn't get Manscore at all last duel. Manscore will actually get her moving before he can get his Castle Gate. Okay, we have ourselves a set. Jowl of Demise in defense mode. Okay, that's how you use your card. Jowl of Demise can attack directly later, but uh, you're probably not going to get to keep it. Giant Rat is... Oh, there we go. Grab a dragon. Just go. Negate attack it is. Dark Hole. All right. Well, Dark Hole's upsetting. Call of the Haunted comes through for Giant Rat. Soul Resurrection gets a Rabbit Dragon. Okay. Rabbit Dragon has 29 defense. It's not going to lose to that. Mind Control is only good with Castle Gate, I believe. And even then, not so good. Giant Rat goes through. Giant Rat gets a cast son of a bitch. All right. Well, we're going to find out if it's good with that. Blade Rabbit beats Castle Gate, so she has that at least. All you got to do is pop it. The mic doesn't work, right? Yeah. Mind Control on the Rabbit Dragon. Okay. It does work? No, it doesn't work. Thank God. Never mind. 
It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Blade Rabbit wins the duel. All you gotta do is put that card in defense mode and life is good. The AI knows how to play. She's getting out of that freaking Zane brain. She knows what she's doing. Life is good. Set. Pot of Greed. Brain, mm, brain control doesn't matter. That's actually going to cost him the duel. Negate attack will buy him a turn, but he should have saved the brain control in case he got Castle Gate. All right, negate attack comes through. Game winning attacks, it's over. That is it. Macy Hops has gotten rid of the most annoying character I've ever seen. I will probably not use Lou anymore. I don't like Lou. Lou should not be here. So let's go ahead and get into the next game. Let's move away from Macy Hops. Let's move away from Lou. And let's get... Shit, where are they? Into the next duel. Lou is gone. We don't have to worry about Lou anymore. We're safe. So let's get into the next person. These people are fun. Who here remembers Alda V Stormer? Who here knows Sunny Snips? These are characters you might actually like. Sunny Snips and her Tiger deck, Alda V Stormer and her Wing Beast deck with the one dragon card that's really good. So let's see here. I would not do that, Moth Kid. I'm not, I, I'm not a, what do, what do they call it? Um, a masochist. I don't like to do those things. I come into these tournaments expecting all the AIs to play at least semi-well. At least semi-well. Like, not perfect. I understand they're going to make mistakes. They're AI. But I want them to play somewhat well so I can have fun. But Lou is gone. Thank God for that. Sunny Snips is all we got left. Okay, we got the Flame Tiger. Flame Tiger is good. We got the Battle Storm. Battle Storm ties with the Flame Tiger. But I'm about to see a Wong Hu card get... Oh, no. We might go for Barbaros. Yep. Her boss monster is here and TT is good. Which means Premature has the most value in the world. This is her true boss monster, Beast King Barbaros, with 3,000 attack. Flame Tiger is back. That's 4,800 on turn three. You are almost gone already. That was super valuable. Now what are you going to do? Alda V Stormer. Yeah, you got as a set. Okay, you need Magic Cylinder and you need some sort of game-saving card. King Tiger Wong Hu will stop any search. That is a good card. That monster has terrible defense, but because it wasn't the attacking one, they could put it back into attack mode. Darn it. All right. Let's go with the top deck. Normal summon. Force Burial. What are we going to throw away? She got her boss in the grave. Okay. Her boss monster is here now. Dark Storm Dragon. The two strongest cards in the game are on the field. Her effect, she kills herself to kill everything else. The Dark Storm Dragon has done it. The Beast King has been stolen. Everything is on the other side of the field now. Sonic Duck. The Sonic Duck is here. And freaking Alda V Stormer has actually turned the entire duel around with one play. One bur foolish burial into birthright. All right, now we got a set. Set is good. Normal summon. Hunter, I was super good. That is a great beater monster. 3,000 direct damage. He can't come back. She can't come back. Sunny Snips is done. Sunny Snips is not coming back from this. It was a really good duel for Sunny in the very beginning, but it's it's completely fallen apart. Uh, Heart of the Cards, something good. Could she summon Obelisk through her soul alone, like freaking uh, whatever her name is? Uh, his name, Seto Kaiba? No. No, you cannot. Alda V Stormer steals a victory thanks to her boss monster, the freaking... I want to call it the V Stormer Dragon, but it's actually called Dark Storm Dragon. So let's go ahead and get into game number two. Alright, going into game two. Hoping for the best. Here, I'm going to give you guys one more kitty cam. They've separated now. We got Roxy, Mama Kitty, and Cali Cat. They're all together still. But they've separated. They don't want to bundle up anymore. It's too hot in the room. So, let's uh, see who's up next. King Tiger's great. It'll stop Alder from using any of her best cards. Uh, since most of them are floaters. Except for, you know, of course, her Battlestorm card and stuff like that. And we got ourselves a set into Manticore. No, we don't. 
Monster Reborn on what, though? And the boss monster has been stolen, everybody. The cats are great. They're sleeping. They're peaceful. They, for some reason, can ignore me. 2,700 damage comes through, and that is good. It's almost like Alda attacked her, despite the fact that the monster's on the wrong side. Um, Harpy's Feather Duster is the best we got. Maybe it's a dimensional prison. That's your best chance. God! Okay, everyone that has it. I know 20 of you have it now, thanks to freaking Random Gamer. God says no. We need to see it. Where's the hand? Where's the hand of God? There it is. God says no. Next card, we have ourselves a set. And Indomitable Fighter Lele is fine. Sonic Duck is gone. That's good. And Indomitable Fighter's in defense mode. All right. Seems like a pretty basic duel. I think Sunny Snips has this one in the bag. No Monster Born play this time to save her. Sonic Shooter can only get rid of that card, but that's not too big a deal. And, uh... Yeah, that's game. Oh, well, it's not game yet, but it's, it's guaranteed game. There's no way she can lose. She even has her effect up, which I think works, right? It's, it says spells as well, so Poison Fangs works. Yeah, face-up Swallow Trap card, so she could actually wipe the field if she wanted to. Beast King is here. Beast King gets summoned. 1,900 attack goes through. And 2,700 is there as well. Easy game. We're going into game number three, everybody. And with game number three, we're going to see who wins. Will it be Sunny Snips or will it be Alda? The person that goes to top eight is that much closer to getting a Synchro Monster. But, eh, which one do you care about more? You know what? If enough people want it, go ahead. Jason, you can ban Dog. If enough people are annoyed by it, I don't care. One less person doesn't hurt me. Beast King Barbaros comes through. We have two sets. That works. <laughs> 86,000 seconds? <laughs> That's hilarious. 86,000? <laughs> Wait, that's actually funny. All right, Dark Hole. We got ourselves a Harpy. Wait, really? The okay. The Harpy's Feather Hole has happened again. Enough people thought it was funny on YouTube where I can say it and not get in trouble. So now we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a set. Life is good. Potagree comes through. Harpies comes through. Um, King Tiger is good. Yep, King Tiger beats the Harpies brother. Sad to see him go. It's one of the most annoying cards that my Valentine, uh, my Valentine uses in our Eternal Duelist. Let's play. And we have ourselves a set set. Beautiful. And Enrage Battle Locks for Piercing. 800's good too. Call the Haunted comes through, and Harpy's Brother is going to be 1300 attack. It's still better. Get Flame Tiger out here. Eh, get Flame Tiger. Magic Cylinder, Flame Tiger, into whatever. The defense won't matter. King Tiger is too good. Okay, Alda, this is what I need from you. Yes, okay, good. She picked the Hunter Owl. So with the Hunter Owl, if we can special summon some monsters, you'll take control. And anybody that likes, likes Alda V Stormer, I believe that is her, that, that was it. I think that is her showing you that she's about to fail. I think the winner of this duel is gonna be Sunny Snips. So anybody that was a Sunny Snips fan, you know, raise your hand so I know who you are and I can not make fun of you because you picked the right character. All the V-Stormer fans, you might as well cry. She is not going any farther. She's not going to top eight. Battlestorm's going to do its best, but Magic Cylinder goes the other way. Raise his hand. <laughs> no, you can raise your hand in your rooms or wherever you are on the bus. I, I can see you. I can see all of you. Enrage Battle Locks is coming through. The King Tiger goes in. The Poison Fangs is brutal. The Burning Tiger and Enrage go in, and that is game. The winner is Sunny Snips. She is just barely strong enough to win it all. Wave's hand, wave.
<laughs> so it was a pretty good duel between both of them. The only time Alda won was when she made an incredible play with her uh, Darkstorm Dragon. But without her Darkstorm Dragon, she just got overrun. There was nothing she could do. Sunny Snips is just better. So the next duel is going to be one of our best underground duelists and one of our highest ranking duelists in today's tournament. Is 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 here. Is 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 going to be going up against Cherry. Everybody wish them luck. All right, let's go find Cherry real quick. Perfect. Rick said food. I might be down for food. All right. I got some energy today. I, I'm down to go get some food after this. Where, where's Cherry at? Cherry is ready to duel. Is 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 ready to duel. I don't blame you if you don't bet on this one. This one's going to be a little bit tougher. I say is 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 going to win, but we haven't seen her duel with somebody like Cherry before since Cherry's just a burn deck. The Chaos Hand is pretty good so far. Magic Cylinder is way better, though. All right, with a set, we're good. What's Chaos Hunter's effect again? I actually don't remember what it does. Fencing Fire Ferret, I know what that does. Special Summons a monster except during damage step. Okay. So, like, a monster born or something? I got gotcha. you. Inferno is there. Oh, that counts! That counts! You special summon. You die now. That's her boss. Chaos Hunter is here. Is is has summoned the strongest card they got. They have themselves. Uh, did they not go for Chaos Sorcerer on purpose. And they have their Chaos Sorcerer. Chaos Sorcerer is going to banish the monster that could special summon. Game's over. Game's over. This is why she's one of the strongest duels in the underground. I warned you. I warned you. She was one of the higher rankers. This doesn't even matter. Like yes, you are going to get rid of both Old Vindictive and Pride Chaos Hunter. But you still have to deal with the Sorcerer, so none of this matters. Oh, wait. Dark Horizon happens. We also get one card back. I don't think Apprentice is that important, but this is still high value. Life is good. Big damage again. Yep, 1850. And even if you summon a good monster, it'll just get banished, so you got to think of something. Malevolent Rider is right. Dark Hole or Bust. How about Invasion? If she has her planetary card, the planetary card is one of the only cards. Yes, she does. The planetary card is one of the only cards that can turn this duel around. We have the Blazing Mars. The Blazing Mars is here, everyone. It can stop the duel. Unless she draws a second Chaos Sorcerer, it is actually over. We have... Oh, I forgot. She had TT way long ago. Blazing Mars' effect activates. We throw away three cards. It comes back! The Blazing Mars, the planetary card is so good. By getting rid of the three cards, it's over. What can you even do? Is is did not top deck Chaos Sorcerer. They needed Chaos Sorcerer top deck. It looks like the American Duelist is going to knock out one of the best underground duelists. Sword Flare wins the duel automatically. Blazing Mars has an effect that does it. That card's actually good. The Blazing Mars card is actually good. All right, let's go ahead and move into game two. Will Iz Iz get her revenge? She started so strong in that duel, but then the Blazing Mars was summoned and everything changed. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. All right, that's much better. So you got your good beater monsters, Apprentice for an Emergency, Smashing Ground. Life is good. Good for Iz Iz. You just need to top deck uh, uh, one of your Chaos monsters. Fencing Fire Ferret is annoying. You're going to have to sacrifice something to it. Like Old Vindictive. You might as well use Old Vindictive. She had to fight Jim. You're right. Cherry never got to show off because she had to fight Jim. Harpies has so much value right now. That is a high value Harpies. We got rid of the burn cards, which are super annoying. Old Vindictive Flip can stop the Fencing uh, Fire Ferret from doing anything too bad. It's still 500 burn, but it's not that bad. And then you can summon Dark for free or... Or we could do this, sure. You can summon Dark for free or go maximum damage Dark Elf. Dark for free it is. With this much damage, we've got 2250 coming through. Life is good. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, and we're going to see. Pot of Greed's not going to make a difference. And what is this? It's over. 
We never got to see this Mars card really work before, but now we're seeing it in action, and it's horrifying. It is super good. All right, Smashing Ground is good. Oh, wait, steal it! Smashing Ground into Monster Born. No! I mean, it still works. It still works, but you're going to take a lot of burn. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Really good play from Cherry here. Steal it and win. And Mars has been stolen. The perfect top deck of Monster Aborn will be taking us into game number three. Reborn for game is good. Very close, but it was good. It looks like Cherry fans are going to have to wait because Iz Iz is still one of our strongest underground duelists and she could still totally take this game or this match. But game three will decide. Will it be Iz Iz or will it be Cherry? I like that, Ghost Wolf. That's actually funny. That is one of the few things that I find funny. The Maiden was necessary. It was. All right. You have a lock in your hand, which is super funny. If you could try to find a way to pull off that lock, you will have a good advantage. Pot of Greed. Let's see what you get. Okay. Well, that's three Magician's Valkyria pretty quickly. Pot of Greed wasn't even really necessary to get three. You were going to get three within one more draw, so that's kind of crazy. Oh, okay. Kyle's funny then. Sorry, I must have missed Kyle. There's so many comments. I'm sorry. And like I said, I can't read. I only vibe. Fencing Fire Ferret has returned. And big damage. 3,200 comes through. That's another one. You're right. It's a lot today. Dark Hole has super high value right now. I hope it does good. You are very funny, Kyle. I will say that. And you're going to take a lot of burn before that. Oh, you should have just done the 17, but whatever. I get why they don't do it, because they're like, oh, Fire Ferret's about to get its effect. I want it to die by destruction. They don't realize its effect does nothing because there's no monsters on the field. All right, Valkyria comes through. The life points are really low, and you're fighting a burn deck, so that's very dangerous, is is You're playing on the edge of life, but if you can keep this Valkyria alive, you can lock them. Pot of Greed comes through. Pot of Greed gets... Oh, Foolish Burial doesn't matter. Foolish Burial gets Blazing Mars. And we have ourselves a set. The lock is possible. This duel might end due to a lock. The lock is here. The opponent can no longer attack. They have to win by burn. Solar Flare doesn't work. You're out of cards. Cherry's going to lose. Cherry is going to lose. She can't win like this. Blazing Mars can summon itself because it has a really good effect, but who cares if it can't destroy monsters by popping? Oh, it's... That's its effect. It's Ultimate Baseball Kid. It's going to slowly win the duel unless you get your Chaos card. Smashing Ground was set. I forgot it was set. Go for it. Go for it. All in. All in. Let's go. Let's go. Is is showing why she is one of the best. Magic Cylinder used at the wrong... Oh, no. It's over. Magic Cylinder has done it. The winner is actually Cherry. Cherry won instead. The last possible card in her hand was the Magic Cylinder. There was no way you could win that duel. The American Academy students are in top eight. They're actually really freaking good at this game. All right. Good job for you, Cherry. We're proud of you. The next duel will be Tillamook versus Yami Kuroda. Tillamook has not dueled today. She hasn't dueled since the underground. And Yami Kuroda has already dueled, and he's already shown us just how good he is. He even took down Christine, who summoned four ritual monsters in one duel. All right. If Breaker worked with special summons, it'd be so good. It'd be so busted back in the day. Nowadays, it wouldn't matter, but it'd be so busted back in the day. Oh, shit. My apologies. I don't remember where Tilla is. Not Tilla, not Tilla, not Tilla. There she is. Found her. All right. Tilla Mook of the Card Professors versus Yami Kuroda. I'm going to go ahead and get this one started. I actually do need the restroom, so I'm going to run over to the restroom when this one's going on. I'm hoping their duel isn't super quick, so you guys do, do commentary, chair commentary, whatever. Just make the commentary happen. Here we go. We got a nice chair commentary. Got it. Here's a phone.
damn it. I knew I was too late. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I was too late. Who won? What the hell? Oh, my phone fell. I forgot I put my phone up there. All right, how was the chair commentary? Did it do good? Wait, what the hell happened? Yama Kuroda won? Ah, oh, that makes sense. He's he's really good. He's a strong kid. That kid is pretty strong. Chair said some nasty things. Don't worry, I'll bet. Jason, ban the chair. Spam while Cooper is gone. How dare you? <laughs> I can still see that comment, Mr. Gannons. Racist jokes. Oh, dear God. Nah, nah. We ain't having that. Not in this house. Not with these cats around. Never acceptable here. All right. Mr. Tomato comes through. Dark Illusion TT. Very nice. Chair ban 86,000 seconds. That just made me laugh. The idea of 86,000 seconds. It just sounds so funny. Were the cats dueling again? No, the cats are fine. They ran because I ran to the room. They hear they heard me coming. And they were afraid. So two of the cats ran. All right. Infinity Dark. Funny enough, the Caius beats... Oh, Caius counters vampire. The Caius counters vampire. That's not fair. Is that allowed? And there it is. A thousand. Wait, you missed a 2K magic cylinder to glass game? Oh, well, how about this one? Oh, it doesn't work. I just got... Magic cylinder doesn't work. Get wrecked. All right. Well, I just saw magic cylinder actually fail, which is pretty rare. And 2400. That Caius is doing major damage now. She's having a lot of trouble against this opponent. She needs to get some of her better cards. More pyramid turtles. All right, that card's really good. Mizuki! Oh, wait. Her card got banished, so who cares? Next turn, it's over. He, she's about, literally about to get hit. Oh, there we go. Now she can activate her trap. So, funny enough, I like that you're like Tilla Weak. No, her name is Tilla Mook. Because <laughs> she's the weak one of the group. Pyramid Turtle. Well, Pyramid Turtle could actually do something. The problem with going for it is that you're going to leave yourself wide open, so you need to have a set. It works. They went for it. Their life points are super low. But they need to have a set. Okay, they have a set. Okay, there's still a chance. Lejin comes through. Till a Meek. Meek works too. Uh, Vampire's Curse beats Caius now. Oh, you didn't care. You should have stopped that trap card. All right, Lejin for game. Yep, that's that's an old Lejin for game. Lejin for the win. I like that. That's good, Kleppy. Or Kelpy. Or whatever. <laughs> The winner is Yami Kuroda. I'm sad that I missed the duel, but I drank an entire water bottle during this. And like, one, if I don't drink water, I lose my voice, which makes the stream worse. But if I have to leave to go to the bathroom, it makes the stream worse. It's man's conundrum. I can't, I can't beat it. I just can't beat it. And then there's like, hold it in. And then it's like, well, then all I can think about is needing to use the restroom. And it's like, my commentary falls down. Even though it's basically the same thing every time, but who cares? All right, so this is going to be the final fight of top 16, everybody. The final fight of top 16, we have a more tactical duelist versus a more zombie duelist. This is going to be weird. The chair did fine. All right, good. It's going to be Grandpa versus Bones. Now, between these two characters, Grandpa has the unstoppable Exodia, but he has to pull it off. And Bones has Pum Princess, which actually did pretty good work today. Place your bet based on that knowledge. All right, let's see here. And let's go. Well, that's that side. There we go. And let's get Bones ready to go. And all of our duels are ready. Let's have fun. So I love Bones, but I also think Grandpa is pretty cool. So I got nothing against either character today. I'd like to see them duel. When are we getting Full Power Seeker? We already did. He almost won a tournament. Full Power Seeker was shown in the last Underground Tournament. He got second place. He was one win away from getting uh, first place. Gemini Elf is here, and the damage is good. Most likely going to result into a dark uh, hole, into a Monster Reborn. He does get his burn for doing this. Grandpa does have a nice beater in Gemini Elf, but it will not matter. Dark Hole, as we all expected. Monster Born. Are you going to steal the Elf, or are you going to go for the Bird and get back Snake Hair? That's my question. 
We're gonna steal the elf. We want constant power. Grandpa's gonna need another giant soldier or mystical elf to hold these cards back. That's one thing about bones. His monsters are typically like not too powerful. Like they're old school powerful. Like you know, like Dragon Zombie was old school powerful, but that's about it. Sixteen hundred was nice, and I could say that because I'm playing Eternal Duel of Soul, and my whole deck is sixteen hundred. Now that card changes things. That card means that it doesn't matter anymore. Oh look, Giant Soldier of Stone doesn't matter anymore. Now Grandpa doesn't have any time left, and since he didn't draw one of his three Heart of the Underdogs, we might have to call game on this one. So, anybody in the chat that voted for Grandpa, you could you could say good, you know, you can say goodbye to those bits or points, channel points, because you lost. Tribute to the Doom would actually work for game. Yep, and Bones does it with a classic card. Uh, Tribute to the Doom beats uh, Louise, and 4300 goes in. Life is good. We're going to be going into game number two right now. We're going to see if Grandpa can make a comeback a reality. His deck is not as effective as Seeker's um, Exodia deck, but we'll see. Maybe he'll think of something that we haven't seen before. Maybe he'll pull something off. Maybe he'll fusion summon and blow everyone's minds like Yugi did to me when I was playing him in an Eternal Duel of Soul. Lightning Vortex is a good card. I just don't know how it's going to work against Gramps. Gramps loves his defense mode. Wow. Okay. He really... Wow! Feral Imp! That's a blast from the past. Um, You really didn't like that Mystic Tomato. There is a chance Grandpa can win this duel. He got hard of the underdog on the first turn. Despite how bad that was, there's a chance he can win. I love the Feral Imp. Classic card. Very beautiful. Um, You might win just because of Heart of the Underdog. Give Grandpa your power. Dark Magician. Nice. Oh, never mind. Oh, we know he wasted Dark Hole, but Dark Hole is not necessary to win a duel. Especially when you have the mighty Summon Skull. I was waiting for I didn't know which one he would get. It could be Curse of Dragon. I don't know. A mighty Summon Skull. You don't stand a chance. Don't do it, Bones. Book of, okay, Book of Life. Bringing back the snake hair. That's fine by me. Is it going to be Lightning Vortex? Yeah, it's going to be Lightning Vortex. Yeah, it's all right. And there we go. Let's get some damage in there. He should have put snake hair in attack mode, but it's fine, Bones. You got this. Gramps is tired. He already used his best card. Technically, that is probably his most usable monster. Gemini Elf is actually a problem. Never mind. That's, that's a legit problem. Horn Imp, not a problem. You can deal with that. Mystical Elf, that's a problem. You're going to need some time to beat that. Gramps, please stop. No, oh, dear God, please stop. Grandpa, please. None of those were Exodia pieces. Mystic Tomato. Okay, trust me. Dark Hex Seal. Yeah! Bones, summon your ultimate monster. Summon the one card you never summon. It's time. It can defeat Mystical Elf. It can be defeat Gemini Elf. Here it comes. The ultimate card. Mammoth of Goldfine. This card can beat even the 2,000 attack point monster. Why is that in defense mode instead of putting him down? I mean, I guess you weren't going to win, but you should have at least tried to put him down. No, not swords. Get harpies. Hurry, Bones. Get harpies. That can win you the duel. That can win you the duel. Find a way to kill your own cards. If Gramps is dumb enough to attack Pyramid Turtle or play a monster in attack mode, you win. Celtic Gu I love Celtic Guardian. I got nothing against him. I love the Celtic Guardian. Alright, what else we got? That's it? You idiot. You lost. You just threw the duel. Grandpa just threw the duel to a child. All he has to... Oh, he can't attack with Pyramid Turtle, but if he attacks again... Oh, that's why! He drew Heart of the Underdog again! So much draw, and he keeps getting Heart of the Underdog in the way. Pyramid Turtle can't attack, but if Grandpa attacks Pyramid Turtle, it's game. He might not know. Triple Heart of the Underdog. Giant Soldier Stone is not what you need. You need Exodia pieces. You have one of every single piece. One of every single piece is in your deck. Please get them. Someone's like, Exodia incoming? No, he's probably going to end up in a trap hole or something. Alright, let's see it. Oh, he got another one. Let's see. 
Griffor! Oh my god, Griffor. Why are you even in the de Oh, I know. It's it's because it's lore accurate, but still. Please draw a trapper spell. I can see who loves Exodia. Wait, so the number ones really like Grandpa. The number twos don't like Grandpa. You guys just made it obvious. <laughs> All right, Grandpa. Did not get it! All he has to do is attack and he loses. Grandpa, attack and lose. You know it's your destiny. Yeah, Grandpa threw the duel. The winner is Bones. I like Grandpa, no disrespect. It's just Bones my buddy. This is the farthest he's ever gone. He's in top eight. Wow. That took forever. He had to pop so many cards in his hand. Did you see that? It was like... And then he got rid of all of them. So let's go ahead and let's uh, get into top eight of our tournament. The eight strongest characters that are in today's tournament are... Over here. The eight strongest characters are Bones, Yami Kuroda... Cherry, Sunny Snips, Macy Hops, Kami, Serenity Wheeler, and Pete Coppermine. In other words, there is only one card professor, and he is the highest ranking card professor, that made it to top eight. So let's go ahead and see if he can continue to go to top four, or if Serenity Wheeler will stop him. All right, Cooper might stop that. I would never play as bad as this character does. He upset me. A lot of the card professors seem to upset me. I mean, I'm okay with Osler. That guy didn't do anything wrong. But the other ones did. So, Serenity Wheeler, let's see what you got. Let's see if you can get your uh, red eyes off. And, uh, yeah. I'm looking for old Petey right now. Petey is ready to duel. His genetic freak deck is uh, going well. Serenity Wheeler's Red Eyes deck is going well. Yeah, Joey's probably in the stands like cheering or something. Who knows? All right, Giant Jern comes through. A thousand, a thousand. And we have two traps. They need their advanced ritual art. Hunter Dragon is not what you need. Miss Body is useful, usable, though. Though so many decks have destruction nowadays that it doesn't really matter. And Red Eyes Black uh, Baby Dragon's very good. That's her Baby Dragon card. A lot of her cards are meant to resemble her brothers. Dark Hole. Yep, that beats it. I understand Dark Hole, and you can't deal with the freaking Miss Body otherwise. Uh, I don't know what that is. You did 1,200 burn to both players, so that was Ring of Destruction in a way. All right, and Hunter Dragon is here. So Mystic Tomato is not going to help unless you have a Red Eyes Black Dragon in your hand. Okay, we got a problem. Pete Coppermine came to play. He's got advanced ritual art, and he is going to summon the Lycanthrope. And with this monster, he's going to easily defeat Serenity Wheeler. There's got to be burn involved. He can premature burial for another monster, and unless she has the perfect traps, it's over. All right, Hunter Dragon comes through. And here comes the burn. 200 burn. Oh, there's only one monster in the grade. That's normal. Uh, baby dragon. Yeah! You scared him! You scared him! Alright. He's scared now. Call of the Haunted. What else you got? Baby dragon. Yes! What is that? Devour monster. Yes! The Lycanthorpe. You are now a Lycanthorpe. The baby dragon has evolved by destroying itself. It has become the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And obviously that trap card was her red eye uh, uh, from his kunai with chain. She has red eyes with chain. Everything is based off of his monsters. And red eyes baby dragon. Baby dragon. So what are you going to do now, Mr. I'm in trouble? Dark hole or bust? Yeah, you're right. Oh. Her life points aren't that low, though. Not unless she messes up and, like, gains a billion attack. All right, attack goes through. Game-winning attack goes through. It has been stopped, but it's not enough to win them the duel. It was close, but it's not enough. The game-winning attack goes through, and it's over. Serenity Wheeler takes game number one. Good job, Serenity. Let's go ahead and get into game number two and see if old Petey can do it again. No animation. Magic Cylinder. Well, Magic Cylinder had an animation. <laughs> that's, that's the animation you got instead. 
Okay, he already has Lycanthorpe, but he needs his uh, Ritual Spell. And he got his boss monster, the Muted Mind Master, which he doesn't know how to use. Which we learned in today's tournament, which is heartbreaking. Mass Dragon, so we're going to... Oh, but we already know that they have a Mystic Tomato in hand. So no matter what the result will be, that Serenity ends with a stronger card. Okay. Life is good so far. Mass Dragon. Yeah, there we go. Best Red Eyes user so far. You're right. The only people that have used Red Eyes in this series. Number one, Rex Raptor in the very first Duelist Kingdom tournament. Number two, Night Trout. And she is the next. Premature Burial comes through. Double Mass Dragon. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, if he gets Harpies, he's in a great spot. Without Harpies, not so much. That is not Harpies. Mystic Tomato is going to try and undo this. Let's see if they can get something stronger that we didn't know about. 50k on uh, Serenity. That's probably a safe bet. Biden. Okay. That card is only good when you... Okay, you didn't attack it with it. That card is attack a monster and you steal it and then you attack with it. And they didn't do that. Call the Haunted comes through. Mass Dragon is here. And of course... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with the triple Mass Dragon? What are we doing here? Mystic Tomato says it must be in attack mode. That's why. When you summon with Mystic Tomato, it has to be in attack mode. Uh, Vagrant does not have Red Eyes in his deck. He has Black Skull Dragon, but it's only summoned through Dark Hex Seal. Oh! The Dark Hole of all Dark Holes! Coppermine be damned! He lost... Or, I mean, I mean Coppermine is not damned. He's in a good spot. The Red Eye Spirit brings back the Baby Dragon. The Baby Dragon's too strong for Giant Germ. But this buys him time to get his Ritual Spell. He needs the Ritual Spell. Monster Reborn can bring... That's the fourth time you've brought back a Mass Dragon. Please stop. Re oh my god. It's the whole Red Eyes family. Alright, the Baby family. Chick form and Baby form. All right, Ritual Spell or Bust, and even then you're in trouble, so you're going to need more than that. Get a Pot of Greed. Wow. I am actually impressed that you got that. <laughs> I'm not even mad. That's just impressive. Holy crap. All right, he got his Ritual Spell. He summons his Lycanthorpe, which means he could do some good burn damage. And then if the AI is smart, well, that was dumb in the first place. If the AI is smart, he will Tribute Set. That is his best play. He wants to die. You chose death. You chose death. Here it comes. Red Eyes Baby Dragon will now use its ability to evolve into Red Eyes Black Dragon. And Red Eyes Black Dragon beats like and forth. And now let's deal with the last pro. Oh, that was a mistake. I think it's only for one turn. You're supposed to use it aggressively. Yes, and you never got to because uh, your AI doesn't know how to flip aggressively. That's funny that that actually works. But is it enough burn to win the duel? That actually works. Is PD going to win? Can he do enough burn with his Lycanthorpe's effect? Will he tribute set like he was supposed to? No, he will not. He will tribute set! And it will not matter because he doesn't have enough defense anymore. It was okay to do that when she had a baby dragon, not when she has a red-eyes black dragon. Oh, it was going to have... Oh! Oh, it did not matter. None of this matters. End the duel. Summon Skull. End this duel. 2-0 this monster. All right. All the card professors can go to hell. They suck. We're going to go ahead and move into the next uh, round. Serenity Wheeler in her first ever tournament is in top four. I don't know if her brother is proud or worried. <laughs> I'd be a little worried if a family member of mine just was like, oh yeah, I'm just a better duelist than you. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Wait, what? So the next duel is going to be Kami of American Academy, who's been doing amazing today, versus Macy Hops, who did amazing until she fought Lou Pickles, and then Lou Pickles was... Look, that guy just messed up with AI brains. I think, I think she's fine. I think Macy's fine. Just watch out for Lou. That's all I got to say. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I, I can't see if someone just followed. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Sorry, I'm on the I'm on the bracket right now, so I can't even see what we're 
what we're looking at. Macy Hops, Macy Hops. Crap. Oh, there she is. All right. I'm all ready to go, guys. Kami versus Macy. Let's see. Old school duelists? You mean like Sarah Taker and Izzy's? One of them was in this tournament today. Oh, found Macy. Okay. Good. Macy's ready to go. And Kami is ready to go. Let's see who wins today's duel. Potter Greed will start the duel. Lakunga's really good. In her deck specifically. Ah, vanilla. <laughs> yeah, gotta love the vanilla. It's classic and it's annoying. It does the job. One second. Whenever I talk a lot, I end up getting congested. There we go. Oh, we got a tribute. It's Manticore! Man Wait, are we playing that in attack mode? Dear God. Manticore of Darkness is here, everybody. And Manticore is ready to end this duel with the help of Vanilla's 150 attack points. You should not use your Call of the Haunted on Vanilla, folks. Thank you so much. I'm glad you made it to today's stream. And Saku does good work. Call of the Haunted, and there goes a Dark Hole. I agree. Waste of Call of the Haunted. But yes, thank you for making it to today's stream, and thank you for watching my stuff. I appreciate that. The double aqua... Oh, wait a minute. Vanilla has returned. And because Vanilla returns, we can use it for Manticore. Great play from Macy. She makes mistakes here and there, but she still has good plays. Until the... Wait, do they both have to activate? No, they don't. Okay. Lightning Vortex will not... Oh, Rabbit Dragon's in the grave. If Rabbit Dragon's in the grave, she's in a good spot. TT is also really good, though. Okay. Manticore is not coming back. Macy's run out of stuff. Okay, what else we got? We got we got, we got something else. Giant Rat! Okay, we're going to thin out all of these freaking uh, Mother Grizzlies. And we're going to see who has the strongest monster by the end of this. Mother Grizzly gets Mother Grizzly. Giant Rat gets Giant Rat. There is no more Mother Grizzlies as we see the one in her hand, which means she has to use something else. Kami's in trouble here. Starboy's not very strong. Giant Rat is. And there it goes. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like that ghost. Well, if you mix their names, uh, Maki. <laughs> you got both of them in one name. I've done that before. Mother Grizzly's here. Mother Grizzly can be used. I like that. Get a Starboy. Now a Starboy's worth it. Or for an army. Either or. Both are good. And there's no more giant rats to save you, so now you're down to vanilla. And Starboy rips through it. Macy Hops has taken her first damage of the fight. And now that she's bricked, she has to top deck her way back into victory. Her best top deck would be Birthright or Monster Born. Or Rabbit Dragon, which is what she probably just drew. And which is why she did not play it. Lakunga has so much value! Here it comes! By throwing away two monsters! We have the Lakunga token, which gets buffed by Starboy and ends this duel. I mean, it was going to be over either way, but still. And Lakunga does it. Kami takes game number one against good old Macy Hawks. Sorry, guys. Just because you like bunnies doesn't mean bunnies are good. I know there's a bunny right here, but it does not matter. Let's go ahead and get into game two. Oh no. Jason, did you make your first mistake? Yeah! Yeah! He finally messed up! He finally... I, it took you so long! I was waiting! I was waiting so long for you to make this mistake! How many bets did it take for you to finally mess up? We make fun of Arturo, we make fun of Wookie, we make fun of Mario, but you were the first- we, We've been waiting for you to mess up. It happened. And I, you made fun of me because I've messed up before too. Finally, Jason has shown he is not perfect. He can make mistakes. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the next game. Rigged indeed. The moderator is unfair. 1800 damage, 3400 damage. Oh, she just won. Well, let me do, let me help you out here. New Jor, thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate that. And thank you for making it here today. Again. So Harpy's Feather Duster has high value. It looks like Macy's not making it any farther unless she has an amazing play that we do not see coming. 
Lakunga has been stolen, but Kami has... She just needs to do 200 damage. If Kami can do 200 damage, she wins the duel. Seven colored fish comes in. And here comes another attack. Giant rat, that's game. Giant rat's not enough. Vanilla's even worse. The game winning attack, it's over. Kami is going to top four. Macy Hops is out of here. Kami has won. All right, let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't have points anymore. My phone, I, I remember when I used to do bets, I had my phone. Now I don't even use that. So I can't even give away stuff anymore. Jason can give away his, oh, actually, no, he can't because the person that does the prediction isn't a lot, like it doesn't let you put in the points. I used to use my alt account to do it, but that was way back when I was a, a, a little streamer. Back when we used to have 30 people watching. It was beautiful. Beautiful days. That was before all the anger. Before the AI duels. <laughs> you went, no, no, there was still anger back then. Do you guys remember Dodgeball? Remember the Tag Force series that I was doing back then with the 30 viewers? And we were watching the Dodgeball and Jaden like hit me in the back of the head. It was so stupid. I hated him. I hated him. I remember. That pissed me off. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's do it. The next duel is Sunny Hops versus Cherry. All right, or Sunny Hops, Sunny Snips. I'm sorry. I feel bad for Macy. She got top eight, though. Good for her. You demand bits? No. You demand nothing. All right, let's get into it, everybody. It's time for Sunny's Tiger deck to take on Cherry's Blazing Mars Planetary deck. Oh, Roxy's snoring super loud. It's adorable. All right. Looks like our duels are ready to go. Should be a lot of fun. I ask you all to forgive Jason. He doesn't make many mistakes, at least, and he doesn't make mistakes very often. Oh, boy. Oh, that's going to suck for you. So you get to heal a little bit, but you're actually still going to take like 700 burn. Oh, Mr. Ganon's can bet. He's not the one doing the bets. Whoever does the bets is the problem. He may be a mod, but as long as he's not the one that did the bet, he's allowed to bet. He's the one that lost all of his money on Blair way back in Duel Academy Season 1. Oh, no, I think it was the Interschool Duel when Yugi was there. He was fighting Taya or something. All right, Pot Agree comes through. And Fencing Fire Fair comes through. Very nice. Fencing Fire Fair gives a huge advantage. Even if you do kill it with your King Tiger or your Flame Tiger, it doesn't make a difference. You're the one that takes more burn. Welcome to Cherry. And you might as well still do it. It was still... Okay, that was dumb. Not doing it at all was dumb. Ukazi! Yeah! All right. Ukazi does its job. Fencing Fire Fair will get rid of the King Tiger card. But then Flame Tiger becomes a problem. So that's actually not a good play. Wait a minute. I mean, the burn is good. Don't get me wrong. But other than the burn, that's not so good. There, there is no real bad ending today. Today, look, we're in a peaceful time period, Trains. We got nothing to worry about. Everything's good now. The only thing that happens today is someone gets access to Synchro Monsters before everybody else. That's it. Somebody's going to get access to them. Okay, now you can beat that tiger. Get yourself something good, Cherry. Something that can beat a tiger. Maybe a Solar Flare Dragon. How? Whoa, what? It can Special Summon from the hand, too? How come she didn't do this against Jim? She's busted. Cherry's actually busted. She just didn't. She just had to fight Jim. That was her only problem. Sunny Snips, a very powerful character, just gets destroyed in game number one. All right, let's go ahead and get into game number two. Let's have it go. Fossil Dino, no special song. You're right, Bernard. That card's busted. That card's so good. Who thought of Jim? Who thought of Fossil? Like, they buffed the Fossil Fusion cards. That's the whole thing. Like, if Time Stream still cost you half your life points and everything, he wouldn't be as good. And his monsters didn't get those super buffed effects that they, ha that they have nowadays. Crap. Abaki! 
It's a Baki, everybody. It's going to die, but look at it. <laughs> All right, monster. Wait, you steal? No, this is how you beat the planetary characters. You steal their boss monsters. And now Manticore is here, too. Oh, they were only made last oh, five years ago? That's crazy. I forget, Tag Force games get anime cards before every other game eventually, or before the real world even gets them. And then they stop making Tag Force games because they hate they hate creativity and fun. Harpy's Feather Duster, let's go. Kind of like my chance. Manticore go. Oh, God. Fire Ferret saves the day. That card actually saves the day. The Blazing Mars is no longer on the wrong side of the field. We have to hope that it's okay now. Yes, everything's going to be okay now. These things have been upsetting me too much today. One sec. Not enough. I even have one more. Game. I always have napkins just in case. That and they're from whenever I get food. All right, so what do we got? Another fire fire. No, it's cheating. She got another blazing Mars. That car is so freaking good. It has to be cheating. When new cards are released, do you get them updated on Master Duel? I have no clue. I, I have no clue. This is offline, so I'm not technically online, so I technically would not receive updates, right? That's that's how it goes. And yeah, it looks like this duel is over, and it looks like uh, the American Academy students deserve more respect. Maybe Duel Academy was better than we thought. Maybe the Academy... You know what? Hashtag save the Academies. Hashtag save the Academies. Blair was wrong. The Academies are teaching them. These are good duelists. All right, let's go ahead and let's get over here. And let's get uh, Cherry forward. The next duel is going to be Yami, Kuroda, and Bones. All right, Yami, Kuroda. Bones. I'll take either duelist, whichever one I find first. Just let me get them here. Oh, okay. I found one. This is going to be the last fight of top eight, everybody. After this, we're going to be moving into the four strongest characters in today's tournament. And one of those four will be getting synchro support. The first character on Earth to get it. All right. Oh, I'm too far down. That's fine. There he is. Okay, we're good to start. Thank you all for your patience. I apologize. I do want to get into the duels, but if I don't focus on the decks, I for some reason I can't see them. Like I said, I can't read. I have to vibe. All right, so Bones is ready to duel. Yami Kuroda is ready to duel. I would say Yami Kuroda has advantage here. Kaius being able to do burn and, you know, remove from play these dark monsters, these dark zombies, that'd be really good. I will not tell you what synchro monsters characters will get when they win. I will not I will not reveal it. You'll have to wait until they come into another tournament, and then you get to get excited by what they end up getting. Which I think is more fun. Mad Archfeed is here. Dark Ruler Hades. What about that card? That's not a zombie card. I think you're thinking of uh that's Bakora. Bakora uses Dark Ruler Hades, and so does Kallen in our series. TT, come on, really? Well, at least the Pumpkin is here to own the duel. So Pumpkin, with his incredible 1,800 attack points, is in control of the duel. I don't know, Minotaur. I do not know. Hash, but let's say let's save the duel academy. Chaz did have some last week, but he wasn't supposed to. They weren't supposed to be synchro monsters, I promise you that. In the manga, they weren't synchros. They were just effect monsters that he could summon. Alright, well, that tribute to the Doom would have been nice. You should have put Pumpkin in defense mode at least. You don't. What if they get a tribute? Crap, it's Caius. Alright, boss versus boss, and one is clearly better than the other. It's over. <laughs> it is super over. 
All right, what are you gonna do? Bones, you're my buddy, think of something. Yeah, that's good, good thinking so far. Let's let's keep it going, let's keep brainstorming. Mystic Tomato's really good, I like it. I like it, he's finding his way back into the duel. Give him a second, he'll think of something. All right, things are looking a little more dire, but it's fine. He's got life points, he can spend it. Mystic Tomato into Mystic Tomato, that's right, that's right. Dark Hex Seal Tarth, uh, it's, it's about time. Okay, now Dragon Zombie into your bo your true boss monster and get an equip spell. Still Dragon Zombie into your true boss monster. Trust me on this one, it's worth it. Damn it! Damn it! He won't do it. He's already done it in the last duel, but he won't do it aggressively when he knows he'll just die the next turn. That's upsetting. Bones, you have a, unless you get Dark Hole, you lost the duel. Dark Hole or bust. Ah, damn it. All right, my buddy Bones is about to lose game number one. God, I just want, I just want the little, I want the little zombie kid to go top four. Is that too much to ask? Is top eight where he's stuck forever? I know it's an old deck. I know his cards aren't that great, but come on. Give the kid some love. He can do stuff. But Yami Kuroda of OCG Elementary is better. So let's go into game two. And let's hope that uh, my buddy Bones does a little bit better. Yes, that's too much to ask. I just want a deck that runs Clown Zombie, Snake Hair, Armored Zombie, and Dragon Zombie to place top four in a tournament. I think that's fair. <laughs> and Pumpkin. All right, so that's a problem. I would start Pump Princess. I know you're probably going to Dragon Zombie into United We Stand, but I would start Pump Princess. You want to get that started early. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and do this. Yep, that's about right. All right, well, there goes Infinity Darkness. United We Stand is a very nice card when they do draw it. And now I see why you didn't Pump Princess. My apologies. You somehow knew they had that in their opening hand. Oh, God. Now I would either Mystic Tomato or Pump Princess since it's in defense mode anyway. You don't need to Dragon Zombie. You don't need to throw out your full power monster yet. Save that for later. You can Snake Hair if you want. Damn it. All right, I'm a little worried for my buddy Bones right now. Okay, no, this is fine. He's losing in life points, but field advantage seems to be his. Hand advantage seems to be his as well. How about Mystic Tomato? Stop wasting your normal monsters. I know that sounds weird to say out loud, but your normal monsters have more value in your hand than your effect monsters do. Legin, classic but good. Magic Cylinder, good value, 1800 is playing. 1800 burn is pretty good. Snake Hair is not gonna survive. There is two plays you can make. You can go with Pump Princess, or you could set Pump King, which you just got. Never mind. Uh, set. Damn it. They won't set. So now if this guy gets uh, another monster. No, he didn't. Okay, you're good. Do the combo. Pump King, Pump Princess working together. They fuse. I, I promise you they fuse. Just play one of these cards. Thank you. Thank you. I, it shouldn't have been in attack mode, but I'll take it. This is fine. This will work. Allure of Darkness. Let's see if he loses everything. He does not lose everything. And you're scared? The legit won't attack the Pump Princess. It's scared. Legit feels fear. All right. Interesting. I didn't know the AI wouldn't attack Pump Princess if it got summoned. That's new. Pumpkin Queen. They need to make Pumpkin Queen. Both characters like this field spell, so it doesn't really change much. Oh, it does, because it lowered his defense. Oh, no! The Pumpkin! The Pump Princess, it's a little late to the party. It's going to take a lot to lower these monsters' attack points. A lot of turns. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get that spell card down. You can win by burn. You're not going to win by battle, so you might as well win by burn. Snake Hair, good. Get rid of the card before it becomes a problem. Thank God for Pump Princess dropping that monster by 100. I've seen Jacko Bolin, but no. It does it's not it's not Pump King. It's not Pump Princess, it's not Pump Queen, and it's not Pump Knight. Pump Knight sounds horrible though. Alright, there we go. With two Pump Princesses, actually you could win by battle now. You wouldn't even have to worry, it'd be so easy. It'd be too easy. 
Get that missed tomato out there. Yeah, that's right. Go get that mad archfiend. It's all you. What the hell? Go get that mad archfiend. It's all you. Yeah! Armored zombie! We saw them all! Dragon zombie, clown zombie, freaking all of them. All of them have been seen now in this one match. First duel and second duel. All right, how are you going to beat the mighty armored zombie when you lose 600 attack when you summon a monster? Lose. Lose. All right, get another tomato out there. We need more tomates. Bones is not just going to lose to Yami Kuroda. It's not acceptable for him to do that. Now, granted, if he got Caius again, we'd be in some trouble. Oh, he loses defense as well? Oh, dear God, that sucks. Pump Princess is brutal when you actually get it going. The problem is, is it takes too long to get going. That's a good one, too. Pump Lord. We need the Pump Lord. There could be a pumpkin archetype. That's all I'm saying, Master Era. Or Master Era, sorry. Um, Konami. And there's the Caius I was talking about. God damn it. And Caius. No! Pump Princess! No! That was such a good play. He still gets the thousand burn. That was too good. Pot agreed. You must. He's back to normal attack. That was a really good use of his monster. I'm really... That was smart. Monster Born comes through. Giant Orc has been stolen. We can use this. Book of Life for game. Book of Life for game. The Dragon Zombie returns to the field to end this duel with 1600 burn. And now with the Giant Orc on the correct side of the field, it's time to end this duel. Oh, yeah. All right. Life is good. Life is good. We're going to game three. I told you, Bones is top four material. He should be able to get the synchro support. Blue Flame, thank you for following. Where are my Bones supporters? I need you to be here for me today. Nobody vote for Yami Kuroda. For some reason, it makes me feel like when you vote for a character more that they're more likely to win, and I do not like that. Vote for Bones. Bones for president. Hey, he can do it on the first turn. He won't, but he could. I want it to be known. Bones can fuse at any moment in time into his ultimate monster. 2100 attack. Mad Archream beats it. Fair enough. I'm Joey fan, so sorry, no bones. I understand. Uh, Joey's my number one guy. He's just not here today. His sister's here today. Serenity's in today's tournament, but Joey ain't here today, so I'm not. I'm not going for, for him. Dragon zombie comes through. If it was Joey or Bones, I'd always go Joey. 800 damage comes through. Very nice. 2100 Queen Pumpkin Patch. See, that's a great name, Malevolent Rider. We are already making the freaking archetype midstream, a stream about a tournament. All right, now let's see. We're going Pyramid Turtle. There we are. Bones is breaking through Yami Kuroda. Mo most of you bet on Bones, right? That's why he's winning. He's winning because you decided to bet on him and trust me. How you make the AI fight? We make the AI fight using Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Offline Mod. That, those words exactly. Alright, 2300 comes through, and it's almost over! As long as he doesn't find a way to bullcrap a Caius, we got this. The game's over. The game's over. No Caius, we win. Here, he drew three field spells in this one duel. I think that happened. No, white too, sorry. I was thinking about the last duel. End the duel. Pump King for game. Top four Bones! Bones is in top four! That's my boy! That is my boy! The field spell worked against him. And Bones has done it. Yami Kuroda loses to a Ghost Kid. All right, let's go ahead and let's get into the top four characters. The semi-finalists. One of these top four characters will be earning themselves a Synchro Pack. Let's see who gets it. Will it be Bones, Cherry, Kami, or Serenity? Everybody place your bets. The first duel will be Serenity Wheeler, Joey Wheeler's sister, versus Kami, the American Academy student that uses the water planetary monster. I don't care, Rick. I'm going to be biased. Every time. 
every time. If I see a character I like, I'm going to be biased. Which, by the way, vote for Serenity Wheeler because she uses red eyes. And I'm biased towards red eyes. I want red eyes to win. Besides, who wanted Yami Kuroda to win? Are you gonna you're gonna bully him all day, Rick? <laughs> oh wait, I thought Macy was. Is that gonna become a thing that he has to deal with for the rest of his life? Good. All right, Kami's here. Serenity Wheeler's here. I'm equal on the vote. Oh, it's 50-50. Oh boy. Is this a bad hand? This might be a bad hand. Oh no. Serenity, you might want to top deck something. You're in a bit of a, a bit of trouble here. Oh! Oh no! Okay, top deck poly or die. Oh no, it's over. It's over! It's over! Turn four victory! Kami wins! Kami wins! Call it! We're calling it! Serenity Wheeler loses game number one to Kami in an extremely fast duel with brutal consequences. Um, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Serenity, let's let's not draw that hand. Let's not draw that hand. All right. Super bad. We don't want to see that. There we go. Beautiful hand. We got a red eyes baby dragon. That's the safest card in the game. And we got Pot of Greed. And we got Future Fusion. I love this entire hand. This is more along what you needed. Alright, seven colored fish will help the baby dragon evolve. Whenever it dies, it evolves into Red Eyes Black Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon gets a buff from the baby dragon. Very good. Future Fusion can now activate. Future Fusion will now get a Red Eyes Black Dragon and a Meteor Dragon into the grave, which means Dragon's Mirror is usable, which means we're going to see a Meteor Black Dragon immediately. Meteor Black Dragon is here with 3,500. It's gone. All right. Premature Burial will bring it back. We got to summon it every single time. Premier okay. Meteor Black Dragon is back, and we're going to go for 3,500 damage. And this duel looks like it's going to be all Serenity. There is no in-between. It's either all or nothing. And if she draws Polly, she gets another monster. Okay. Well, guess what? She's going to summon a third Meteor Black Dragon, like, right now. Call of the Haunted will not matter. Some card fish is nice, but it's not enough. Starboy is really nice, but it's not enough. A Meteor Black Dragon is coming. Future Fusion! It's time. We are living in the future. Activate your effect and end this duel. Meteor Black Dragon has been summoned a third time in freaking two turns. No! What? No! Come on! You killed three Meteor Black Dragons? What are you? What, what do they feed you at American Academy? What do they feed you? All right. Well, there goes seven colored. Okay. Well, you're getting overpowered. Draw Polly or die. Polly or die. You know what? I didn't think about that. Mass Dragon's fine too. Will I be watching Digimon Con? I. You know what? I probably won't be able to watch it live. But if there's a new video game announced, I'll be very excited. If it has anything to do that isn't video game, and I don't count phone games or premium games, but... Oh, they're scared! They're scared of Red-Eyes Baby Dragon. They know what it can become. That's right, you better be afraid, because it became a Summon Skull. Summon Skull is here. No! Attack the Aqua Spirit! They don't know! Serenity hasn't been playing! She, she doesn't know. She, does, she, just got out, she just got her surgery. She doesn't know about Aqua Spirit. Aqua Spirit will force that card into defense mode permanently. Oh, that top deck is unfair. That top deck is unfair. You got a Red Eyes Black Dragon for free. All right, Red Eyes Black Dragon is here, no cost. And Aqua Spirit is gone, which means next turn, Summon Skull can be put back into attack mode. Unless she gets her boss. Lacunga! All right. United we stand! Kami is going to 2-0 this girl! Kami has defeated Meteor Black Dragon three times! She has defeated Red Eyes Black Dragon a billion times! And now there's no way you're coming back! There's no way you're winning this duel! None of these cards matter! 
Master Dragon can barely stall if it can at all. This is how you beat her. Overpower her. Well, that was a big misplay, but whatever. Your life points are getting kind of low. Watch yourself. Red Eyes, Baby Dragon. How does that scare Lakunga? Wait, that should not have scared Lakunga. There is hope. There is hope. Okay, that was probably a misplay, but there's still... No, that was a misplay. That's game. She misplayed hard. Serenity, look, she did her best today. Top four in her first tournament is pretty good. She might still get bronze, but it's over. It's over. Red Eyes Black Dragon is good. Yeah. But that monster can just attack your Meteor Dragon that you left in attack mode. So let's go ahead and get through this. Lakunga tokens for sure. Serenity did really good today. And she could still get bronze, but still. Why does Kami run 2TT? Water duelists have access to more. Did you know that uh, Mako Tsunami has three TTs in his deck? All right. Well, it looks like Kami of American Academy is doing really good. And she's probably going to say it <laughs> at the end of this tournament. She's going to say save American Academy. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get into the next duel. And the next duel is Cherry versus Bones. Cherry and Bones are going to be going at it right now. Cherry is another American Academy student. Bones is a ghost. He died at Duel and during Duelist Kingdom. It's a shame. All right, let's see. Where are they? Bones is ready to duel. And Cherry is ready to duel. Let's do it, guys. The last semifinal match of the day. Then there's only going to be Bronze Breather match. And, of course, the Grand Finals. In our story, Bones died as early as Duelist Kingdom. He didn't, he did, there is no Battle City in our story. But I understand. If we were talking about the anime itself, you're correct, Blue Flame. He did die in Battle City. All right. I'm looking for their faces as we speak. Bones is good to go. Cherry's good to go. And Fencing Fire Ferret easily deals with the Dark Hex Seal, which I'm not happy about. Monster Born Steel, that was weird. You should probably not steal that. Oh, you're good, Blue Flame. No worries. Oh, it don't matter. It's not like you were wrong. You just were right in your own way, and I was right in my own way. Harpy's Feather Duster comes through. And Mizuki comes through. Mizuki knows what to do. Get back that Hex Seal. Of course, Fencing Fire Ferret probably doesn't want to crash because it likes it, it likes its effect for the burn and stuff. So what are you going to do instead? Oh, dear God. Oh, she gets that. We're in trouble. Now, Mizuki, if you crash, it's not the best idea. But, oh, but with Pump Princess, I like it. Oh, God. Please tell me there's no Mars in her hand. Okay, it's not Mars. Could have been worse. Could have been way worse. You're in a good spot. Lots of flame assailants coming through. Pump Princess! We saw how valuable this card could be. It actually was the reason Yami Kuroda lost. And 1,500 attacks. So you have field advantage, but Bones has late game advantage. Polly is almost useful. It's so close to being useful. Clown Zombie. Oh, that's funny. Clown Zombie will be stronger than them because it's every standby phase, including your opponents. So now it's 50 points stronger than... Oh, me. Oh, Bones' chances of winning went down the drain. Anybody that gets Harpies just starts winning duels. Um, Top deck Dragon Zombie or Bust? Or Snake Hair? Bust it is. Mizuki. Oh, you could tribute. I forgot Mizuki. I didn't even remember Mizuki was in there. Pum Princess has evolved into Pum King. And with the Pum King on the field, nobody could stop her. All right. Or him, them, who cares? Pumpkin wins. Abaki. No! That's enough monsters! Three different monsters summons the boss! It's boss versus boss, but obviously Mars is insane. It's over. It's over, folks. Uh, Bones is gonna lose game one. Cherry's boss. Mo These planetary cards are busted. I mean, I know Kami only used it in her first duel today, but it won her her first duel today. So, yeah, planetary cards are busted. Let's go ahead and get into game number two. I'm gonna hope. This is for my buddy Bones. Put everything on Bones right now. 
get him to grand finals. When we got him past Yami Kuroda, I thought that was a miracle. But we got to keep the miracles coming. Set that freaking pump, Princess. We need to get them down there before... I mean, maybe Harpies is going to come around, but let's just hope Harpies doesn't. You got this, Bones. Backfire crap. That's really good. Mystic Tomato? Sure. Oh, crap. Oh, they don't have anything. Oh, their hand's a brick. They only run Pyro Monsters. So, oh, and, well, yeah, they only run Pyro Monsters, so they don't have anything. And Harpies has gone early. You can pump Princess now. They must have just drawn that. That's fine. All right, Bones. Dragon Zombie, if you just want to go in for now, that's fine. I'm okay with it. They don't have anything. They already proved it. It'll still hurt, but they don't got nothing. That's my boy. That's my boy. All right. You're right. Somebody is running Blood Mephist. That is, uh, they were in the Pro League last. Uh, Mascarena. All right. Oh, that's really good, too. That is really good, too. Thank you so much for subbing Lunar for three months. I do appreciate that five. old Cerebit. Uh, Lunar. Lunar Ozer Cerebit. I don't know. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry. I play Yu-Gi-Oh. We can't even read. <laughs> All right, Premature Burial comes through. We're going to bring back this, which only matters if you just happen to top deck. Oh, Backfire is good, though. The life points are really low, so this only matters if you just top deck Mars. Or a card of decent power. Yep, they top deck Mars. Okay, well, crap. Bones, win by burn. Win by your cannon card. Mystic Tomato can do 800 burn. So we got Mystic Tomato for 800 burn. What else can we do? Tribute to the Doom! No! No, don't Dark Hole! We don't need to Dark Hole! Bones! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. End this duel. Yes! All right! We're go Princess for game! We're going to game number two, or game three! Bones has brought this character to game number three. Not even Serenity could do that. Here we go. Who will win, everybody? Will it be American Academy's Cherry or will it be Bones? Winning by Pump Princess is funny. I'm just glad something happened for him. Set Pyramid Turtle and only one of those traps because she always gets Harpies on the first turn. It's happened like every duel. See, if you guys give Bones your energy, he can win this duel. Pyramid Turtle, good. It's it's funny. Two turtles are fighting. Pyramid Turtle versus UFO Turtle. But one in, ended up in a pumpkin, so you're going to lose. Yeah, that lady of Salen isn't as strong as a pumpkin. You shouldn't have set all your traps. Like I said, she's gotten harpies every single time. Except this time. All right, so the good news is they think that this will matter. And that's there's only good news. Yeah, Call the Haunted. Bones is the man who made Call of the Haunted a card. Watch the anime. He's the one that made it popular. This is his bread and butter right here. Okay, who cares? A little bit of burn? We can handle a little bit of burn. Nothing wrong with that. Pumpkin, go sweep that. Uh, oh, what the? Uh, that was very bad, Bones. Oh, you want to? Oh, wait. You didn't even do that during battle phase. No, that was that was terrible. If you did that to attack again during battle phase, I would have been like, okay, I get it. You're going maximum damage. But you did it. That was just bad. That was really bad. Oh, crap. All right. We might be in some trouble here, folks. The good news is the Fire Fairy will get rid of Pumpkin, and there's no Call of the Haunted to fall back on this time. Bones has a master plan. He's a mastermind. He better be. He's, he's about to be at a monster disadvantage. Harpies hasn't even been used yet, so we don't know if she's going to get it in time to stop Pump Princess. Also, the burn is massive. He's running out of time to even attack because he'll lose to just fire monsters in general. United We Stand is nice, I admit. Okay, okay. Attack goes through, it's successful, but you take a thousand burn. Every time a fire monster dies, you're going to pay for it. All they need is a little revival, and you're going down, Bones. Who knows, they might borrow your Call of the Haunted here. K 
Okay, Pump Princess, keep them weak. I like it. I like it. Get those tokens. I, I told you, borrow the Call of the Haunted here, and this is where problems start. That's two fire monsters, so you're going to take a lot of burn. And Mystic Tomato will not get its effect off. I don't know how Bones is going to come back now. His life points are going to be really freaking low. And even if he kills this card by battle, he can only beat one fire monster. That's it. If he, He's only allowed to fight one fire monster, and then it, the game's over. He lost. It's over! The game is over! Bones has lost to Cherry. Cherry, another American Academy student, will be going to top two. They are in grand finals. American Academy needs to be saved. Their duelists made it all the way to top two. They're learning at the Academy. Hashtag save dual academies. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's move Cherry forward. Let's have our bronze place breather match. It's going to be Serenity Wheeler versus Bones. All right, American Finals. That's right. Water versus Fire, fire Finals. That's right. We're going to see who's the better student. But first, let's watch Bones take on Serenity Wheeler, see who gets the bronze medal. For us, this is just so I can rank them later whenever they make it to a certain league, Underground League, Pro League, uh, Minor League. Well, Minor League doesn't have ratings, but any of those leagues, anything that has ratings. So here we go. These characters are about to duel. Bones is getting back into it. I'm very proud that he made it this far today. This is super good. Serenity for her first tournament. Very good job. Uh, but the American Academy students are a step up. When are we getting Jesse Wheeler? Probably never. Maybe once. I don't know. Most likely not going to happen. Harpy's Feather Duster will destroy all of his... Uh, okay, well, Bones, you're getting a little screwed over here. Oh, fun. All right. Who ends with the better card? Mystic Tomato will get... Snake Hair, 1,500. Try to beat that. Oh, crap. Well, she's smart enough to do this. She She's not perfect at using her deck, but she's smart enough to make herself a Red Eyes. So that's pretty good. The American took everything from me. That's how they do. That's what we do. Double Future Fusions. Okay, that's kind of scary. A Harpy's Feather Duster would be real good right about now. That's all I'm saying. I know the Dark Hole looks good, but you might want to save that. You really might want to save that. Book of Life is nice. At least you can get rid of Red Eyes forever. Getting rid of Red Eyes is really smart. And we got the combo. Snake Hair and Dragon Zombie. Now we just need a Polymerization. And we can make the ultimate monster in Bones' deck. All right, Meteor Black Dragon has been chosen. What else are we going to choose? Meteor Black Dragon, that makes the most sense. So all the Red Eyes are in the grave or banished now. Oh, Gear Freak, crap. All right, Gear Freak, the Red Eyes Knight. I, I don't know what, what it's actually called. I, I, could, I could care less. All that matters is it's stronger. Pyramid Turtle, you can get Pumpkin, and then you can crash. Pyramid, what, what do you, no, no, Bones, no. Please, not like this. Okay, he lost. He threw the... It's over. It's over. Our buddy Bones does not want to even get bronze. Or that's 7,000 damage about to be summoned. This is 7,000 damage. There's the card that Pegasus used in Forbidden Memories to make me feel really bad. During our grinding sessions. We're very far. This is the bronze place match. All right, game-winning attacks come through. Serenity is one duel away from getting her bronze medal in her first ever tournament. All right, let's do this. Come on. I believe. I believe. Bones can get bronze. Nothing against Serenity. She's cool. I love Red Eyes. But character themselves, it's Bones. Barbaroid, he was, we already had Cyrus play today. You saw that, Jason. You did the predictions for it. Cyrus, all he did was use the truck and then lose afterwards. The truck was good. All right, well, let's see what they got. Pot of Greed, nothing wrong with that. Mystic Tomato into Hex. Okay, all you need to do, Dragon Zombie, or don't worry about that. Dragon, oh dear God, now worry. We're going to count that. Everyone count it. Put it on the list. I don't know what number we're on, but that that's that counts. 
Also, he got three Call of the Haunteds. Put it on the list. Put it on the list. Three future fusions, three Call of the Haunteds. Look at that. Put it on the list. Put them both. Put them both. Come on. <laughs> what the hell? Whoever gets Harpies first wins. Oh, no, wait. She's just going to win. This duel's over. We have proof that Master Duel cheats. We got way too many of these. Dear God. Now, funny enough, you, pro you chose Red Eyes when you could have chosen Summon Skull. And now he can choose Summon Skull. And now he can destroy Red Eyes Black Dragon. And still lose the duel because none of this matters. Next turn, we're about to see the mighty Triple Future Fusion. And let me tell you right now, Triple Call of the Haunted does not beat Triple Future Fusion. Everybody, say hello to Turn 6 Victory by Serenity Wheeler for sure. It's the Meteor Black Dragon and their best friend. Wait for it. The Meteor Black Dragon and my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. The Black Skull Dragon. That is it. That is game. Oh, we're not done yet. Say hi to Summon Skull. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, Pump Princess. You could if you want, but it will not matter. Yep. And call the Haunted to try and save the duel. Hex Seal does not have a lot of attack, so it did not make a difference. It's over. <laughs> Serenity Wheeler and her very first tournament gets bronze. Bones. This is his first time getting top four. He did amazing today. This is his best showing. So we are now going to be moving on to the grand finals of today's tournament. It is American Academy versus American Academy, which means American Academy is getting the synchro card or the synchro pack. They will get early access. Who do you choose? Are you with the water team of Kami or are you with the fire team of Cherry? Cherry bombs or uh, Kami just means God. So I don't know. Water God. Go ahead. Pick your pick your poison. Who do you want? They're here today to say that American Academy should not be closed down. They are learning. If this was Pokemon called me all day, I still go call me. I'm Kami. I'm not Cherry. I'm Kami. Water beats fire. You can't beat that logic. Water beats fire. Kami's got this. She can have the best burn in the game. I still say it. I'm with, I'm with Alexi here. Water beats fire. Kami can't lose this duel. Abyss Soldier, look at that. You don't even get to use your monster. Oh, well, you do get to use your monster. Never mind. They're both owned by the same institution. They're both academies owned. But they're both dual academies. We just call one American Academy because that's easier for us to get our hands on. It's kind of like how there was a North Academy, a West Academy, a South Academy. American Academy is just one of those dual academies. Kitties, what are you doing? Roxy, Roxy, Ro Roxy, do not step on the keyboard, please. I love you. Do not step on the keyboard. For all I know, you could have just ended the stream. <laughs> all right, Abyss Soldier again. Jesus Christ, you, you can't win. You can't beat Kami. I told you, water beats fire. Water is going to win today. We are one duel away from water being on top. Water will always beat fire. Cherry be damned. We are going into game number two. This could decide the entire tournament and will decide who gets the synchro pack before everyone else. This is it. Will Cherry make a miracle comeback or will Kami do the exact same play and just brutalize her opponent? Everything on Kami? That's right, Kami. There are still Cherry fans? Ridiculous. Oh crap, that's instant Blazing Mars. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. All right, Abaki's here. Blazing Mars this early is super dangerous. And there goes Seven Colored Fish. I'm not happy about that. Torrential Reborn, yeah! All right, now all we need is a United We Stand and we win the duel. United We Stand, baby. United We Stand. Come on. Okay, Abaki does the burn. Cherry actually prefers that we do the burn. 
Nothing wrong with that. But I'm here for I'm here for Kami. She can do this. Monster Born's unnecessary. Flame Assailant, and you're still using it. Okay, Hibaki returns. And let's get some damage in. Oh, wait a minute. Magic Cylinder to change everything. Mother Grizzly. Okay, let's throw in some Mother Grizzlies until we get to Starboy. Here comes the Starboy. Come on. Bring him out here. Water beats fire. Starboy counters fire decks. I told you. You should have bet on Kami. I warned all of you. Double Starboy, Aqua Spirit, Monster Aboard, Mother Grizzly, and this goddamn duel. Water beats fire. You're all fools if you thought any different. Kami is going to win the Dynamo Tournament, and she will be the first person on Earth to get her hands on the first ever Synchro Pack. Woo! Starboy countered her. Kami has done it, everybody. American Academy does have their announcement. They need to stay open. Their students win tournaments. They are good. Please, if you can, hashtag save Duel Academy. If not, whatever. Kami and Cherry gave us one good grand finals, but Cherry just got countered. Her deck was not built to fight a water deck like that. Kami is just too damn strong. So... Let's go ahead, let's say Kami wins, and let's take a look. In today's tournament, we had some new characters, we had some strong characters, not the card professors, I hate, I hated, I hated uh, Lou Pickles, he was terrible. But respect, Kami gets the pack, and announced American Academy wants to be saved. Cherry did really good today, and Blazing Mars is way better than I thought. Serenity Wheeler, first tournament got bronze, freaking amazing character, you gotta give her respect. Um, uh, Bones, best performance I've ever seen from Bones, good job. Pete Coppermine, go to hell. Macy Hops, good job. Sunny Snips, good job. Yami Kuroda, really good job. You got unlucky against Bones. But that is going to be it for today's Dynamo Tournament. I am going to announce next Saturday's tournament right now. Sunday, we still have a tournament. Don't forget, tomorrow we still have a tournament. The tournament tomorrow will be the Summer Bowl. It's another nice, peaceful tournament where there will be some new characters and some stakes. And there's definitely going to be a new character that some people really wanted to see. But next Saturday's tournament is going to be the Fortune 5 tournament. Fortune Cup number 5. A new wish will be granted. This Sunday, remember to don't skip tomorrow, is going to be the Summer Bowl. I'll see you all then, guys. Let me go ahead and uh, get out of here. I got some work to do. Bye.